<laughs> makes it sound like you went live on accident. No, it it's called like I forget F1 accident. is a fucking It's called like I forget F1. <laughs> F1 is like... Uh, it's used for like 800 things. I don't know why the hell I keep using it as a hotkey when like everything uses F1 for something. Hey, I got an actual ping. Well, no, it was from Discord. I, I was about to say like... <laughs> My Discord exists just for that, because I was getting sick of people being like, Oh, I missed your first hour of your stream! It's like, yeah, I don't know why this keeps fucking happening. Whoopsie doodle! Twitch, do I have to turn on ads? I'm not going to. You want me to get a fucking Amazon Prime membership again? Did you see that video where it's, uh, it's pirate software talking about, like, the actual average cost for Twitch per stream and why they want you to run ads? No, like how much? How much am I wasting their time or money? Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me let me pull up the calculator. I mean, I'm probably like wasting a lot of their money because like I am not making them any cash. Yeah. All right. So a uh, okay. So a let's say if let's say you average four hour streams, right? And you average like. Say, say like six-ish viewers, right? Yeah, that, that's, for a lot of these. Sure, sure. That's close. Um, yeah, that's about that's now that that's the, the cost goes up for it goes up like in your the actual pricing of like the cost of it is quite reduced because you uh you do do a uh actually it's 1080p now. Hello, Hold dragon. On. 1080p. Yeah. So. It's basically twenty nine cents a viewer. At at at, at this uh. It at costs twenty nine cents for one viewer to watch. It costs one. it costs it costs Twitch twenty nine cents per viewer, uh, for a four hour stream. Yeah. <laughs> to fire to watch this. Wow. Uh. I mean, I was aware that Twitch and YouTube are highly unprofitable. Uh, because, of course, they fucking are. Yeah. Don't worry, they'll start installing spyware. <laughs> so, your streams on average cost Twitch about $10 each. Fuck yeah! Fight the power. Wait, and nobody <laughs> donates, so Twitch doesn't get that money back. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Watch my streams to bring down Twitch! That was a joke! For every time you don't donate, it... <laughs> hey, swear up. Every time I stream a minute, it costs Twitch 24 down. Oh, wait, you might not get that joke, fuck. It's a Space Ghost bit where every, every time I move my arm, it costs Cartoon Network $24. Oh, I know that bit, yeah. 24 48 <laughs> Just that, but with Twitch. I wish... I wish... I wish they still made jokes like that. I love Space Ghost. It was so good. I have season one somewhere on DVD. That Amazon money's got it. Yeah, like, the thing is, Google and Amazon make so much money that they can eat the loss, but, like... They're not gonna say that, because they're a bunch of dicks. Kari, what could you hope to learn about yourself in a place like this? Like, Google makes 6.8 bajillion dollars a minute. Yeah. And uh, I think I squashed a bug. I think my chair killed a bug. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so, yeah, so, look, if you ever feel bad about the fact that these streams are, are, like, on average $10, like, the cost of these streams for Twitch is, like, $10 per stream, I want you to keep in mind the fact that Jeff Bezos makes it, on average, $985 a second. Okay, so, I need to get enough viewers so that we can steal all of Jeff Bezos' money. But wait, that means people <laughs> might donate, shit! If people if people donate with bits, the cost of the bits goes to Twitch, like because the the bits are because bits are a bit more expensive than just donating. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I gotta think. It about works this. like it works like casino chips, you know. I'm gonna like open up a Patreon and be like, for every one dollar you give me here, Amazon gets no money. <laughs> is it possible to know less than I do? Yes, Yasuo, there is. If we're being honest, Yasuo, the rest of us know a lot less than Streaming you. on Twitch and not running ads is like when people uh, just use YouTube as like a Google- as like- as like a place to offload their videos they don't want on their computer. Oh yeah. Just remember, every upload costs YouTube a lot of money. I am the last of my kind. Ah, the last of your kind, Ari. Uh, AKA, there's probably like eight of you in the card game. I checking the Shadow Isles alone. Kids these days. The Shadow Isles alone. Kids. Ari is like twice your age, Fortune. I am older than all of you <laughs> combined. You are not older than Brom. Brom older than Freljord. Uh, yeah. So Ari's cards in the card game. Are, uh, I'm pretty sure Ari. Even if she wasn't great. an origin base, was she? Especially no, she was just an Ionia card. You just get, you just get her dead boyfriend. <laughs> like his body? Yes. <laughs> it's a card. I want that for like, an, oh shoot though, that already exists. I was gonna say I want that for an undead person where like they don't re like a necromancer who doesn't realize that all of his undead servants are actually dead. He thinks they're just people. But, like, Warhammer kind of does that in Age of Sigmar with the Flesh Eater courts. A new Mundo's lore is that he doesn't... He's like, Mundo thinks he's a doctor, but does not I understand that he's killing people. I've carried them my whole life. I see. Never knowing why. So, yeah, I, I'm gonna talk about Age of Sigmar, because I actually think the Flesh Eater courts are really interesting. Sure, we'll circle back to Yokai Watch in, like, two hours. Yeah. <laughs> so... When Nagash decided to be evil, he resurrected a bunch, like, three vampires from the old world. Two of them uh, just made more vampires, and they're the basics for the vampire faction. But one of them went absolutely insane and started raising zombies, and he believes... They're basically like a court of cannibal zombies that believe themselves to be noble knights of yore, saving people and doing good. But in reality, they're just, like, killing and eating entire villages. A clue led me to Bilgewater, an emergency. What I'm saying is Nagash has the coolest followers. He also has a bunch of cool ghosts. Hey, Rose, at like noon-ish today, did your Discord mobile UI change to get rid of the button that puts the the DMs in one spot? Yeah. I believe it did. Okay, just 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 wanted to make sure I'm not losing my mind. I hate Discord mobile, it's even worse to use. <laughs> A they made it worse in real me. time. Like, you I didn't have to reboot Discord this. for this. Like, this happened Ray while Ray I was salty. going between tabs. Hi, Salty. Hi, Salty. While I was going between I tabs, the mobile UI changed to hide the DMs at the top. It's the worst. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds like a Discord thing. And you know what the worst part him. about it is? The actual font for she what like channels you're looking at on a server home. and where the dms are salty had an abomination go it's super hard to read now they just and don't you want you using it on mobile apparently no you can't increase the size of it I do sense conflict in here. how did abomination go salty we shall keep our heads up regardless you are completely out of it Salty, you shouldn't stream if you're out of it. You've seen some of my Tearing Saga streams. Where, like, I am barely making sense. Like, the premise... The premise of the... No. The premise of the... Of the, di the Discord... The, the old Discord UI and why people liked it was because everything felt the exact same on mobile and on uh, on computer, right? So like yeah. it was intuitive in a way. It wasn't like compressed to make it more ergonomic or something. It was just like, yep, it, it logically checks out everything is in the same spot. Top of the food chain. 
I mean, that makes sense. And then they Salty, were like, like, hey, we should change it for mobile. Salty, I get where you're coming from, but, like, honestly, you should always put your own health mentally or physically ahead of streaming. Absolutely. Oh, I got an achievement. I collect 50% of all the lore. Good job. Yay. Now I can brag about it to all my friends. I, I have 50 Hey, you can brag about your knowledge of League lore. Did you know that uh, Yorick is not in this game? Yorick is mentioned in like four of those notes tops. And that's it. <laughs> Yeah, let's go to Maokai. It doesn't even mention him by form. name, he's implied. <laughs> I met a guy with a shovel. No, he's talking about him from when he was little. Oh, we don't even get modern Yorick where he's a zombie? No, we don't get modern Yorick, we get child Yorick. League, why do you hate my boy? It's just like, yeah, so that one kid that's been talking to ghosts. <laughs> I mean, at least he does that in the book, too. I, I appreciate that. He doesn't have to be zombified first. He does just do that. He it's like an established he... role that he's like one of the people that can commune with the dead or the spirits beyond. Imagine there. talking to ghosts all your life, and then you die, and then you can still talk to them, and everyone's like, I have this awesome power, and you're just like, I, I already could do this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, this isn't new to me. Do you know why it was- do you, do you know why he has that ability? He was born on the cursed islands! I don't know. No, it was because he was- I believe it was that he was baptized in the water that- that keeps- that brings everything to life or something. Or the- the- the, the waters of life that caused the ruination when they were corrupted. Good job, Yorick's parents slash cult members. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what happened. It might be different now, but that's- as far as I can remember, that's what it was. York is just one really dedicated gravekeeper, and despite dying, he's like, I'm gonna fucking keep this place alive! Like, it's established in canon that, like, the only friends that he's able really been able to ha hang on to are, like, the spirits of the dead, because he's just lonely, and the dead are also lonely, so they'll talk to him. Are you telling me that Riot Games stole the plot of Paranatural for York's backstory? Probably, yeah. <laughs> You're telling me you would put it past them? Good point. They already stole the name Yorick. I understand why- I, I understand why he's called Yorick. Like, I- I understand, but they could have picked something slightly less cliche. I actually liked the idea of calling a dead person Yorick to the point I used that for a zombie character in a D&D campaign. Oh, I don't mind it. I just... I feel like they could have been more creative. I, th I well, feel like they a lot already, of a... They already used Zed. Like, what other zombie names are there? I feel like a lot of, uh... A lot of... Like, undead type characters tend to get names where they're like... Either a bunch of... A bunch of consonants in a row. A bunch of vowels in a row. Or just like a lot of hard consonants. Like they don't, they don't give character characters who were designed as like their thing is that they're they're some undead entity. They do not get normal names ever. Well, yeah, death is unnatural, so so shall your name. <laughs> yeah, but you're not born dead. <laughs> Generally. Yeah, yeah. I I don't I don't have any other words for that one. You are right. It's One is not born dead. I don't even know what to say to that one. You're just right. <laughs> you gotta touch grass tomorrow, Salty? Well, hopefully everything goes fine. Haven't had real human interaction in four years. Salty... Uh, do you leave your house? Do you have, like, a family member who can give you a hug? This is why I leave my house routinely. You can see the blessed isles. You can see the blessed isles. Unless your family is terrible, I don't I don't know. 
I touch grass every day because I have to walk everywhere. I. You were beautiful. So I, I do have a bit of a grass my allergy. Oh my! Such outsiders here. Well, okay, Swirl, you can't really touch grass because the sunlight will burn you. All right. Okay. Real talk. Earlier today, <laughs> I was going through like a, uh, I was going through like a thing of like uh, collectible, co like collectible coins, because I like, uh, I was going in the garage and like we had some, from uh, like over the years. Yeah. One of them was. Very high silver, and like, yeah, it, it, it may, I may, I may have gotten like a little bit of reddening on my hand. I see, salty. Also, Swirl's allergic to silver. Please keep write that down again. I told Zave about it, and he was like, "Anti vampire coins." Capital D colon. Hi, Luna. It's about to say you. You definitely do not make a good case that you are not a vampire. I know. Like, if we were in the 17th century or whatever, I could probably convince some Puritans you were a vampire. I think- I think they'd think that just from just the information I've given you. Like, I don't think they'd have to connect the dots or the word- I don't think the word vampire would ever have to be said. They would just assume it. Found, you found a new character to like, Luna? Okay. Salty, the world doesn't want you dead. People just don't know how to drive. Wait, that's me. People still don't know how to drive. Salty, if it is a thing that you acknowledge is a problem and you know it is not a healthy mindset, there are steps you can take to reverse that problem. I love it first sight. It will probably take a while, but there are steps you can take. And you probably should. Just remember, cars are more afraid of you are than you are of them. I, I remember uh I remember when I was younger thinking that like of course that they're aliens evil. would probably think I remember thinking when I was when I was younger, like I'm talking like little, right? That that cars would probably like be mistaken for the like our our dominant species if by aliens, and then that that exact bit is in Hitchhiker's Guide now, uh, and I felt like it was stolen. So many you know? Yeah. That gotta, exact gotta, bit it was in I... Hitchhiker's Guide, but since but like Hitchhiker's Guide definitely did like that. It, like, I understand, like, it's not, like, an idea that I owned, right? But it, it, it feels weird having an idea than being like, Oh, yeah, these people had that idea, like, 30 years ago. I mean... That happens a lot. Hell, even I think in most, I, I think... I think conceptually there are... There kind of aren't original ideas anymore, right? Because everything is derivative of something else, especially in the internet. When you see a lot of, when you're, you have, we have way more exposure to me to different forms of media than we used to. Wearing an Astarian shirt. Wow, traitors! The worst character. It's the, it's the one with, it's, it, no, it's the one with the ruffles. Yeah. <laughs> I know which one. The worst about. character. You know his last name is Bench, translated in Ancient Elvish. Do you know his last name, Rouse? I I've seen it, yes. You've seen it? Yeah, it, 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 it was a Starian. It is, Please put it me is, on the it bench. is only... It is, o Swirl, it is only... Swirl, you showed this in, to me. It is, it is only in a data mined line. Yeah, but you showed this to me because you were just like... No, Rouse has to know everything about this character. His last name, it's Ankinin. It's Wait, never stated in game because it's not important. That's the name of the Pharaoh. Yeah, that was a shit joke. Thank God no one laughed. I did laugh! I can't believe it, the Pharaoh. I laugh at bad jokes, all right? That one was- that one was quite awful, because his, his name's not even close. Get all this crafting material I haven't done. Luda, it's- it's not- okay, 
Luna, Luna, it is- I, I need you to understand, it is not difficult to romance a Starian. Literally just treat him like a person. Yeah, you have to be a jerk, but in a good way. You actually don't. Uh, pretty much as long as you let him- like, as long as you're- you're cool with- with- with his whole thing, he's- he's chill. Yeah, no, Luna, you can absolutely- you can absolutely- do you can absolutely get his good ending, and and be a good person the entire time. But like what, you do but, not have to. But, you do not have to like sell people into slavery for this. But he needs to ascend. That's the only way he can achieve true happiness. That is the exact opposite of his story. <laughs> All I'm saying is, Astarian would be a lot happier if he was an elder vampire. Incorrect. Yeah, I know, Luna. I know, Luna. I'm just saying, he could probably take control of the Underdark if he was an elder vampire. Just saying. Luna, Luna, my, my DMs are open if you want to have an extended conversation about this, but... that I want you to know that that scene is bugs for, like, half of players. And the second half of it does not play. I, I love that I continue to keep my crown as least horny Baldur's Gate 3 enjoyer. <laughs> that That is a fucking crown that I wear till the end of time, apparently. <laughs> Am I the only one that wants to kill the goblins and actually do the story? No, everyone just wants to romance everyone. <laughs> Everyone just wants the sex. I like- I mean, the first half of that scene is really wholesome, and I like it. The second half is bugged. <laughs> so I don't know if I like it. Because <laughs> I haven't seen it. Why is there just a minefield? What do you mean, why is there a minefield? I really hope this is optional content. It is. Cool. I'll take it. Yeah, let's look at our video latency. Hold on. Stats for nerds, please. Uh, yeah. Oh, was... I'm 26 seconds behind. Hold on a minute. I was about I think to I'm just say, gonna... is anyone I think having... I just need to... having issues? Because it looked like on OBS that I was. I think I just need to periodically refresh. Like, I think it's just going to fall behind in frames eventually. Wow, I am just finding worse weapons than what I have. Yeah, there's other things to do in the game, Luna. There's also, like, the media literacy of not over-sexualizing fictional characters. Like, there's people that need to be killed. I see. I don't know, OBS sometimes will tell me, like, that I'm dropping frames, but then I'll, like, check Twitch, and Twitch will be like, you're fine. I don't know what OBS is talking about. Damn, fuck. Alright, maybe I need to, like, stop streaming it whatever I'm streaming it. Uh, it's at 1080p. I won't back down. Because I would like people to enjoy this. Oh, I mean, my, my video stats are looking fine, though. Okay. I actually do not know why it drops, like, frames sometimes. Like, I have checked my internet, I have... Some days, I- I never have an issue. I- I think this is saying it's skipping four frames a second, but I'm- I'm not sure. It looks like the- the- the latency is, like, a little under four seconds, which is- and it's not really going up, but it's fine. I see. Whatever, that gives me- that gives me time to react to people's messages, like Luna saying everyone in Baldur's Gate 3 is hot. I mean- you can, you can, you can, you can, like, asexuals can perceive attractiveness. Oh, I just meant that Astarian still looks like he needs a fucking sandwich. He does, except he's built like Kylo Ren for some reason. Yeah, I still don't believe you on that one. You don't? You want me to send you a picture? No, I'm good! Uh, 
I don't care what he looks like underneath his shirt. I will still pretend that he's fucking just. You can just see his ribs because no, honestly, I, he looks I, like I, he should. I, I, I honestly, I I wish I wish he was more uh, accurate in that sense, but he is un un uncomfortably built for someone of his uh, his one of the blessed his lore. Well, don't you understand, Swirl? Every time Casador you would uh, was like Astarian, please go have sex with people to recruit them into my vampire cult, and also become a professional wrestler on the side. I okay, Rouse. This is. Good. <laughs> I'll tell you in a minute. That's, but, uh, how, that's how Casador talks. Apparently, I, that's not how he talks. Astarian, bring me more poison. Rouse, have you have you heard him in game? Nope. He's very shrill. Astarian! Not that shrill. Pretty close. Does Astarian oh, always oh. stab him to death? Uh, yes. I just realized that's my fucking Vagar voice. <laughs> Astarian, please! I need assistance! Okay, Astarian, so I, I uh... am evil! Stop laughing! <laughs> that one remains intact at all is remarkable. I I do I, I will say uh I I definitely like a, 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 like I've definitely taken a, a look Can about like why I the, the things I like about Astarian. I definitely have like I've talked to my to, to, I've talked to my therapist about this and like yeah I I definitely like him for more for more like personal reasons than for him just being a pretty boy. These three were like. How do we open this door that stood the test of the ruination? And Brom's like, what a door! I love doors! <laughs> His shield is a door. I know, I love that. That's my favorite piece of League lore. Okay. That's good. <laughs> There's always a way in. Let's look around. I spy with my little eye a puzzle. What am I- <laughs> There was a bit I was doing on my stream one time. <laughs> Where I was like, hey, what's your favorite Baldur's Gate character, and why is it Astarian? And they had- someone had said Astarian, but had sent it before I had finished the sentence. The mist is thick. <laughs> so I just got, like, immediately after, just like, what? I like Shadowheart, because she's I was like, come on. Important. He is a well-written pretty boy. I- I- I like- Makes I like sense. seeing, uh... I, I like I like I like seeing characters have a softer side. Nah, that's it's for nice. wimps. I say liking Shadowheart, who's like a hundred percent soft. Her entire, her entire like thing is God's favorite princess. She is the main character. She kind of is. Can you decipher the Although it's, it is really funny because you can beat the entire game with none of the companions. Like, they are all technically optional. Wait, Starian's optional? I gotta start my playthrough over again. Wow. There are so many memories in my mind. Oh, yeah, so the, 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 so bit, the, the, the bit I was. Um, uh, I'm hold kidding. On. I would never do anything bad to a Starian. Yeah, so I, I I told Zai about this. I talked to Zai about this earlier. I because this involved him. I had a I had a dream uh, about Baldur's Gate last night. Vaguely, there was nothing like. Vaguely. It was it was a dream that like I was one of the vampires spawn working under Casador. It was just like, and Zai was like trying to kill him, so it was like an extended game of protect the president. I see. Oh, okay, now I know what to do. This is a you know what problem. I mean? Yeah. But it was for some reason like. It's one of those dreams where it's third person. You know? And at one point, the. It was like. At one point it was Wait, like was slay it? the sp At one point it was like slay the spire style encounter map. This entire thing took place in like a a forest. It was a weird dream. You don't know one of those? 
One of the- what does one of those mean in this context? I'm sure it was referencing something one of us said. I- I'm sure. Logic would dictate. I was doing a puzzle. Oh, dreams, dreams. in third person. Okay. Dreams in third person. Oh. I- well, I mean, my dreams are usually in first person. I- I have found it very odd that usually when I have a dream that- uh, usually when I have a dream in third person, I end up being, like, a guy. So, I don't want to unpack that right now. Good thing you have a therapist. I do have a therapist. That's why I said good thing you have one. Although, I don't know about oh, the I therapist did. thing. That's more I, of just a self- I just heard you say you have a therapist, like, implying that- <laughs> Well, maybe if you stop killing them for their blood swirl. Hey. I'm not doing anything. Man, I must have a weird- I must have- I don't know why, you're like the second person who I've made, like, murdering people jokes about. Who was I've, the first person? Uh, one of my coworkers. I keep making a joke that they're a serial killer. Do they have that kind of, like, vibe? No, that's the joke. Oh. At least to me. Would Carlac be the group therapist? I feel like it would be Will. Yeah. The most boring one. I mean, I dislike Gale more, but, like, I also find Gale to be unsufferable and you, also you, call you bullshit. You say Will is the boring one, but I say he's the most emotionally stable of them. See, the most unbelievable thing in Baldur's Gate 3 is they want to convince me, the player, that fucking Gale got to have sex with a goddess, and I call complete bullshit that anyone would want to fuck it. That man sucks! Hey, do you know that Gale is also built way more than he should be? You wish to be alone. Boring, emotionally stable, same thing. Yeah, dragon. Oh, are these two gonna flirt now? Is Ari and Yasuo gonna start flirting? Uh, a little, just, just, just a smidge. Just a smidge. I don't know why I, I'm doing the thing with my fingers again. You can't see I don't it. Don't mind the company. Like, my webcam is detached from my monitor and facing the wall. I have a webcam on my laptop, but it is off. Unless it's Braum. I have no intentions of using that on stream. Yeah, you guys don't get to see what I look like. Just imagine, is... like. Uh, I don't know how to describe what I look like. It is of just high enough quality to be vaguely professional enough for work meetings, and nothing more. Spirit. I, I think I've only mentioned that I have long hair and glasses. That That's it. That's all you guys get. I mean, you're polite. I used to have long hair. I still have glasses. I... Man, I Who don't want to get... drop the tower on a star in? I... What, an right, entire look, tower? Look, you can okay. Something if you go to the mo if you go to the the monastery, there's this thing called the the the. Back in Bilgewater. Why did you leave? I, without I don't quite remember, but the, there's a thing you can mess around you. with, and you can basically incinerate him with a sun with a sun nuke thing. Yeah. Good. Good. And then if you <laughs> then if you get Withers to resurrect him, he, he yells at you. Put you in danger. I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go contact the people running the Baldur's Gate 3 speedrunning category, and I'm gonna be like, can I add a kill a Starian percent? I feel like that, I mean, I he has lines for if you kill him and then resurrect him before meeting him in his normal cutscene. Not danger from our enemies. From me. Oh my god, Ari was just trying to protect Yasuo. Wait, we had this conversation like four times already. I'm not afraid of Aw, oh, this would be so sweet if one of you wasn't voiced by the fucking NCR. I know. He's gonna give me a goddamn quest to go kill out some fiends! That's why I had to leave. And Kazador! Sorry. What about Kazador? I can't get over. He's a big bug! Good night, Yasuo. It's even worse because Cazadors in Fallout are not a natural species. They were created. Oh, we we love we love man-made Eldritch horrors. 
Okay, so, like, when you go to Big Mountain, you learn that Night Stalkers and Cazadors, two of, like, the most annoying mid-game enemies, were actually biologically created by the scientists there. And if you tell them that, th they're like, What? No! I made all of them sterile! There's no way in hell those things are breeding and are currently causing havoc! You stupid person! And it's like... The fallout! <laughs> There are, whatever, uh, unable to have kids. Well, you know that that, that I mean oh, that's that's, that's that true. Means. It's just that like it's just that I think that in Fallout, when like the premise of the game is that Thank things are God. mutating irregularly. Oh, but they were created pre-war, I believe. Oh, really? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, but like you can tell them because you find where they were created, and there's like mini bosses there. Are they just like big beefy boys? Yeah. You also get voice. perks to help you deal with them, which is nice. But, like, you can tell them, like, hey, these things are breeding like crazy. I see. And, like, they d the scientist doesn't believe you because he made sure they couldn't have kids, but you can find their eggs in Big Mountain. I've grown accustomed to sleeping in caves and without company. I see, I see. Astarian has a great balance of being really nice to look at on the bench, and also probably a pretty nice-looking corpse. I that's, think- That's right! I'm bringing it back! I'm bringing back Duncan on Astarian! Neil Newborn, are you listening? I'm gonna fight you! You versus me, at Madison Square Garden! <laughs> One night only, I'll kick your ass! I don't think you'd win that. Yeah, I'm gonna bring a knife. That's where he, that's where I get him. I know. I'll make sure you never voice in another game, Neil Newbon. <laughs> Don't do that. I want to make this very clear to anyone watching this out of context. I am joking. <laughs> I do not want to fight Neil Newbon. <laughs> My friend, beds are too small. What a <laughs> Beds are too small. Do you small have a plan for, for if Do you have a plan for if he somehow finds these and you get confronted about it? Uh yeah, delete my Twitch. <laughs> what what do I do, Swirl? What the fuck do I do? Have, have a polite conversation. No, I'm running. I'm not scared of Neil, I'm scared of his fans. I Imagine if my chat said all those mean things, but they actually meant it this time. I think when anyone has a large fan base, there are going to be a few people who, uh... Brigade a bit. See, this is- this is the best thing about me. I would never get that big fan base. I mean, you got- you got people in here. Yeah, but they're all cool. Hell yeah. You guys are officially cool kids. I gotta- I gotta rename that on the server for, like, the people that I was gonna use that. <laughs> no, I'm gonna make everyone a- yeah, that's just- we're the- we're the fucking cool kids club. The night Yasuo and I arrived in the- <laughs> What is the cool kids role going to turn into? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't have any, like, privileges, does it? Or is uh, it just, like, no. There's, like, a channel, pure... cause, like, I originally set it up to basically act as, like, if I ever, like, for streams where I was gonna let, like, for basically this, but I only do this with you, so it's, like, completely useless. <laughs> I'm not smart when I set that up. I'm not very smart about the way I do things in general. Yeah, even my Discord, I feel like, was, like, half a good idea. He cares for you a great deal, you know. I, met I I mean, it works I as a way to ping everybody. As and I, say, like, I, that's, I that is really what it is. I don't actually mind it being super dead because, like, it's really just there for the ping. No, or no, Or like Luna, when I decide to watch all the Puppet Master movies and you guys get to be dragged into that. Luna, assume the normal spelling of cool. For the Cool Kids Club. Oh right, yeah, I gotta do that. I forgot about that, because... Work. I don't like work. But, uh, let's keep Media sharing channel. Yeah, we talked about that. You'd have to set it up in a way that... 
people can post, but does it, it has automatic notifications and like oh, pings turned off? I don't know what to say. I'm also thinking about. I know the game rec channel I made was specifically for games for me to stream. I might just start using that to recommend games I like that aren't going to be streamed. That's fair. Didn't say nothing. There are definitely just games that I like that I do friends. not think would would work for Press stream. Like I love Baldur's Gate. I would not stream it. I did the like I did like together. twice. But when you're like deep in the weeds of it, thank you, Bron. I am glad to. Uh, it gets kind of kind of unfriendly in a lot of places and I'd rather not have to keep track of what Twitch does and doesn't like about it. Yeah, that's me with Witcher 3. Yeah! Oh yeah, I also need to play Witcher 3. You'll love Detloff, just play it! The mod tools finally came out, by the way. They, I did. I think oh, it was also, oh, also nice. Rouse, it has a Steam Workshop now. Can I please get the safer work patch? Yeah, Witcher please? 3 is... Witcher so 3 I, has... So I can actually stream Witcher 3 and you can hear me talk about how cool everybody is? Witcher 3 has Steam Workshop. We are the... We are the Roused Out... You guys are the Roused Out Cool Kids Club. I totally didn't steal that name from something. Don't worry about it. Don't do any Googling either. Don't look up anything about Burger King's old marketing strategies. Death runs deep here. Fuck yeah, Pike. Death runs deep. So, well, Rose, what's your familiarity with kid cuisine? Cost. Uh, I'm a, I'm, I, I've eaten a lot of kid cuisine when I was a kid. Okay, so you know the um the, the mascot kid cuisine the penguin. Yeah. Um, that was not their original mascot. The original mascot was a polar bear named BJ. Oh, yeah. I do remember the packaging change. There's an R in front of it. If, if I have to pick, like, a fan base name, which just sounds weird, it'd probably be another stupid MST3K reference. I think if you give your fan base a name... It kind of gives them, like, a, a- it starts, like, pack mentality kind of stuff, which leads to brigading eventually. No, I just think it's weird because it's weird to call you people my fans. It feels less like I have any fans and more like you guys all just happen to break into my living room. I mean, it's more like- it's- it's more like- it's more like- I'm sitting with you on the couch, and they're holding up like, they're 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 holding up like notes to your to your window. Yeah, dragons writing my fridge while I'm trying to play the game, and Luna's like, yeah, Luna's just like talking about a starian. I mean, I get it. Yeah, I know. Swirl, I'm aware of your obsession with Astarian. Yeah. I I will always be unapologetic about it. I, I mean, that's fine. I definitely talk about it way too much, though. Swirl, if I literally... So stocking is a level below fandom, god. Yeah, because... Uh... No, I meant it in the way that, like, you guys don't feel like fans, you just feel like people just watching me play a game. I might have worded that weirdly. But <laughs> I know. I'm sitting down. I don't know. It's, I would weird. Say, it's weird to I be like, wow, people really are my fans. It's like, what? That just sounds wrong. The the microist of internet microist. Yeah, it's like. I don't think I'd ever want to be anything more than a micro celebrity, though. When you think about it, right? Uh, okay, like I'm pretty sure if I if I was like a big YouTuber or Twitch streamer who had like access to the amount of money they get. I am afraid of what kind of weird crap I would, like, commission. 
Not like, yeah, I'm, not weird, weird. I'm like, if I had infinite amount of, if I knew I had money, man. I mean, like how Jay Schlatt c commissions no uh, artwork of him and some of the people he streams with? No, like, I would try to do what Jerma does and spend, like, $100,000 on his stupid stream idea. I see. I mean, that does sound fun. I'm trying to remember what his analytics were. Like, one of them cost over 100000 to put together. That might have been his first carnival stream. I'm surprised he has money. We're still waiting for the mac and cheese scre stream. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I, I'd ever cool want to be more than a. I, I don't think I'd ever want to be anything more than a micro celebrity. And I mean, I'm not even a micro celebrity, but I would not want to be anything more than that because I... at a certain point, there's like uh, there's expectations to there's expectations for like what like people develop expectations for you, right? Like they want certain amounts of regular, they want certain amounts of regularity and like interactions, and then they want to, you know. And then there's also like, you have to uh, be a lot more mindful of your social media presence because there are more people that uh, there are more people that'll see it. You know. Don't worry, chat. No matter how popular I get, you guys can always count on me on playing games that nobody else wants to watch streamed. Marvelous. I mean, the games are like visual stimulation. This is this this is podcast hour. This is podcast. Always is podcast hour. Hey, look, it's Gwen. Where? The doll on the ground, by oh the my... ghost shopkeeper oh guy. Oh my god, it is. Wow, it's the character that actually has a good design. I, I find like doll aesthetic really uncomfortable, and by extension, any character design where they're made to look like some kind of, like where they're made to look like perfect in some sense, you know. Uh, I like what I like Gwen's design. <laughs> you you can like Gwen's design. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I actually really like her design. I like that she fights with a giant pair of scissors. I like that, yeah. I like her aesthetic. Have they made a character that doesn't talk? Like, a, like Sona, Sona doesn't Sona doesn't speak, but she talks to you telepathically. Well, I mean, do we count... Uh, was that Ramus? Remus? Whatever the... Mm, Ramus? Yep, oh, yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm, okay. Okay, mm-hmm. Yep, okay. Yep, okay. I mean, he has, like, two lines. He has six. <laughs> I think. And he has more in the Chinese version, I believe, or something. Oh, on Wild Rift, I believe they, uh, I believe they, 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 he got, like, a rework there, and I think they gave him, like, actual hair. But no, that ruins the joke! Alright, so you said it's level 17, that that, uh, that the... Yeah, going back to Grey Harbor. Okay, uh... because, okay, so, last time when you left, I tried to fight this guy, who's in Grey Harbor... But he didn't spawn, so my assumption is, because the map hasn't loaded the second version of the enemy poop table, he didn't spawn. I see reason to guess that is the case. So I we're going to check again. Well, I'm checking my list. Uh, the, the ones you need on re revisit are the... Barbed razor fin, trigger happy gunslinger, cunning trickster, flame crawler, cutthroat stalker. So let's do a bunch of fights here. We're, we're just doing side <laughs> content. Oh, also a cannon crusher. 
There's one on the street outside Malik and Rogue Captain Flynn's location. Yeah, so he should be like around. Yeah, he's over there. So let's go. And then the next, uh, the next uh, enemy level up happens at level 25 in the Jagged Hooks warehouse and 25 in the Shadow Isles. Why are they still running for you? Why are they still level seven? I don't know. It could be your. It, it could be your. Uh, it could be your story progression also has to do with it. Although everything I've only found about it has has said that it is character like character level specific. I is I Alali can't imagine. Not seventeen. No, it Ari is, and she's my final party member. No, they're all level seventeen. Back to the Shadow Isles, I guess. Unless you need to go further in, because... Well, hold on. Checking something real quick. I mean, I can go further in, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but I mean... Hey, remember all these enemies that used to almost murder me? Fuck off! Woo! Flow like magic? What? These are magic! You are using a bomb, Ari! What magic is bomb? Yeah, they are still 100% all running for me, so I'm pretty sure no. Yeah, unless it's unless you're not far enough in, but I think you are. Oh, you're in the Petrified Forest. No, Petrified Forest is the quest location. It yeah, may be this, this is part Grey of Grey Harbor. Harbor. It may be this part of Grey Harbor, well, yeah. Well, let's go in and see if the boss is there. Huh. All right, I'm I'm figuring this out. So. All right, here we go. I'm figuring this out. Hold on. Well, I guess we're doing more main story progression. Man, I really thought I had this figured out, but I guess I didn't. And yes, chat, we are just going to keep using Ari for reasons. Okay, does it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might just, uh, Everyone is level 17, Cameos. so... Yo, hold on. I did not realize... Laura Bailey is misfortune in this game. She's misfortune in the game, too. I... I mean, that, that's fair, but, like, she has, like, two lines in the game. But... But, so the, so this is Laura Bailey, Liam O'Brien, and Matt Mercer. Yeah. In one game. Yeah, it's probably not the only game that's like that. Well, I mean, they are, they're all in, like, everything, but... Also, everyone's in League. They're gonna make yeah, enough I, champs that I'm gonna be I know they're all in League, someone. they're all... <laughs> That's it. That's that's my new goal in life. I want to be. I want to join the League of Legends. Hear that, the Riot? Conglomerate that no longer exists. What? The conglomerate, the League of Legends that no longer exists. Yeah, the Institute of War. I want to join it. Interesting. That's what the old League was called. They were the ones that oversaw it. I know. I know. Just remember, uh, if you if anyone in this chat feels bad about their writing, at a point in time, it was officially canon that one of the riot employees was just dating Nidalee. Yeah. That was okay. A, that okay, was, I see. That was canonically a thing. 
So the- okay, so I- I've double-checked. So the story trigger is both the level up, uh, it, it is both the level- like, reaching level 17 and completing the storyline of the Shadow Vault. So I'm gonna be over-leveled, got it. Yes. That is... that actually makes a lot of sense. I would guess that just, on average, most people don't over-level, so it's not a problem. Oh no! A PNG of a shadow texture is blocking us! Like, seriously? Hollow Knight gameplay in a nutshell. But I'm like a little bug dude doing little bug things in that game. No, don't tell me what the plot is. I don't care. If you haven't gotten to, if you haven't seen the shadow stuff, you haven't gotten you haven't quite gotten far enough. That's at the bottom. I got there. Okay. Swirl, I beat the game. I beat the Hollow Knight. Did you get the true ending? Uh, it depends on what the true ending is. Not the Hollow Knight. Well, then no. Alright. I don't even know how to get the true ending. That's fair. I beat the Hollow Knight and the game was like, Haha, now you're the Hollow Knight. And I was like, okay. You were the Hollow Knight the whole time. It's like, wh what happened there? What do you mean? What, crits? Attacks? Yasuo! The real, the real Hollow Knight was inside us all along. Yeah, isn't that how the game ends? It's like, well, you did good, but uh, the real Hollow Knight was you the whole time. And then it, and then it tells you that you have like 27% completion percentage, and you're like, what? I forgot what my completion percentage was. It goes up to 112. Uh, let's see. I did Collector, I did... Lost. I can actually look at your achievements for it if you want me to call you out. Yeah, yeah. How much? How much do you think I did based on my achievements? All right, all right. Let me let me look. Let me look. Uh, I fully upgraded the nail, not the dream nail. I upgraded the nail. I got all the iron pieces. Or whatever. It's so funny when <laughs> Steam will blur out Baldur's Gate's thumbnail on the page because it's. Okay, hold on. Game stats. Alright, your achievements. Compare to your own. Here we go. So, you have... Uh, half, acquire half of the ch Acquire half of all the charms. Four mask shards. Three vessel fragment. Pulse snag, green path. Yada, yada, yada. Mantis swords. Collector. Calcima fools. 200 essence. Half, rescue half of the grubs. Quarrel! Trader lord. Stag stations. Wait, only half? I, I beat the collector, though. He oh. is not t tied to the stag stations. No, the grubs. Or the, or oh, the grub. no, right, he's not no. tied to the grubs. There's more of them. He is, but he gives you the. I forgot all he gives you is the um. The map, yeah. He gives you the map to where the remaining ones are. Right. You can yeah, fight him yeah. whenever. Trial of the warrior, trial of the conqueror. Noticeably, no trial of the fool. Uh, I tried. <laughs> That's fair. Um. There's a list of like, isn't it the the achievements for um, doing things on Steel Soul, where it's like half of this amount of per completion percentage. You can because the game goes up to 112 percent completion percentage uh, for uh, like it, there's an achievement for getting 100 percent completion percentage on Steel Soul, but the percentage goes up to 112 if you include the stuff that was added after the after the after launch. Um, and you can- those- those percentages count too, so you can just- there's basically 12 percentages of things you can opt out of doing. And on that- and on my Steel Soul file, I opted out of- I- I believe I opted out of Trial of the Fool. But I did do it in my main. Uh, let's okay. see. What Grey else? Prince Zoat? Very nice. I actually find, uh, Grey Prince Zoat to be one of the harder fights because his attacks aren't telegraphed well. That, I think, was the very last thing I- did. That was the last achievement I got after, like, I did a, I did a, I did Pantheon of Hollow Nest, and then I did, uh, which is like, Boss Rush, yeah. and then souped up, fi souped up Final Boss at the end, and then I did, uh, Grey Prince Zote after it, because if you do Grey, Grey Prince Zote before Boss Rush, it doesn't get at it gets added to Boss Rush. Awesome, did not know that. 
Yeah. I did it because it was a boss that I could do. I did it because I was being strategic. <laughs> uh, also, uh, it is I... like it is for the achievement. Let's see. I okay, beat the so lost the, the achievements you're missing. You're missing uh, acquire all charms and receive Salubra's blessing. All mask shards, all vessel fragments. Failed champion, lost kin, dream nail, awakened. Uh, here the series final. I words. beat the DLC. Rescue all grubs, leaves out to die, kill the nail smith with a pure nail. Uh, allow the nail smith to find a new calling. Oh wait, so when you upgraded your nail, you walked away, right? Yeah. So if you go to if you go to uh, nail master, I think it's Shio. Um, yeah, nail master Shio. If you go to where his uh, his thing is in Green Path, you'll find him hanging out with uh, with the with uh, the nail smith. There, you get the happy couple achievement for that. I see. Just for sparing it, you get the achievement. And for visiting. It's neat. And he'll, like, thank you for not killing him. Why would I ever kill him? Uh, Happy Couple is a spe is a speedrun category that's run every year to benefit the Trevor Project. Interesting. Pretty neat. Yeah. Uh, what else? There's a- uh, Bring peace to the Grey Mourner. That's Delicate Flower. Yeah, I'm not doing uh, that. No. I- No. <laughs> well, you can- you can do what I did, which is basically- the a lot of the enemies in those in those areas don't respawn until you sit on a bench. So you can clear out the area, the entire route that you're gonna take first, and then get the flower. Okay, counterpoint. I could just not do it because it's stupid. True, but it also is like one of the pieces you need. What do you mean pieces I need? For like uh, collectibles. Well, if it doesn't help with true ending and it doesn't give me a gun, then I'm not doing okay, it. Okay, you don't have sealed siblings. Oh, you shit. don't have uh -oh. dream no more. My headphones just. You don't have void. The speed run achievement. There goes my headphones. Your have your headphones? Uh, I moved in my chair and they just yeah, cause I got wired headphones on my desktop. I see. They yanked out. That was fun. So what were you saying, Swirl? Uh. So the other ones you're missing, um, all bestiary entries in the Hunter's Journal, Steel Soul completion, 100% Steel Soul completion, 100% completion and finish the game in under 20 hours, uh, complete the game in under 5 hours, uh, the Soul Master rematch, the Dung Defender rematch, um, Nightmare King Grim. No. Uh, no. No. Banishing Grim, and then the the Pantheon of the Master, Painter, Sage, and, and Knight, and then of course Pantheon of Hollowness. I don't, I don't, I don't. I, if you like the Hollow Knight fight, I highly recommend you get you unlock the Pantheon of the Knight. It's very fun. I don't want to do the Grim. Well, fight. actually, it's actually you don't you don't get that until I think that that fight is actually uh, you don't unlock it until you reach it in Pantheon of Hollowness. It doesn't even unlock in the area until you do that, yeah. Swirl, you I don't want to do fight the dream version of Grim again. That was not fun. You don't like NKG? His, his attacks are all over the- f I hate him! When, when you- when you've beaten him enough times, eventually, it, like, it gets encoded into your what DNA. You mean him? I can't even beat him once! He's required for boss rush. I beat normal Grim, is that enough? My- my first- the first stream I ever did on Twitch was me- was me beating Grim, uh, normally. Uh, I don't think I even had my mic set up properly, so like, was there was just... no audio. There was no game audio, I don't think, and I don't think there was any audio from my mic either. She was probably talking funny. about vampires the entire time. I, 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 I was not. I, I was not. <laughs> hey, Tidge. Hi, Tidge. All right. Back to back to the subjects at hand. The subjects. The music in the vaults of Helia actually slaps. Oh wow, I thought the game would just crash if it loaded while I tried to pull up the map. It didn't though. Like I genuinely I love the music in this area. 
Why are there like hex tech things? Go away! Why is there technology that should be too young for this area? Yeah, hex techs in Piltover. It's also made of hex and tech. That is the joke. Hex tech always existed. Did you guys just stay dead. This is the problem with ghosts and undead. Why does Ari have lifesteal? Because, uh, something, something pseudo vampire. That makes sense. She's a vampire. They're all vampires. They're all vampires. I when mean, it that boils was... down to it. I mean, that was the plot of murder drones. Oh boy, we love ectoparasitic characters. They're or ex all is it, vampires. Is it ectoparasitic or it's exoparasitic? That's my bad. Imagine creating robots only for them to turn out to be vampires. Uh, yeah, I- they really dropped the ball there. Like, you can- would... you can enjoy a piece of media and acknowledge that it is not well written. Like... Murder Drones is fun to watch. I would not say it is well written. It's written? Theoretically. I love reading, like, summaries of that show, and I'll be like, yeah, that definitely is maybe what happened in those episodes. Yeah. Wow, Ari has the ability to use her orb thing. Who would have guessed? Dude, is it established what the orb is, or is it just an orb? It's the power of orbs! I don't fucking know. Well, oh, Ari's face markings, are they supposed to be whiskers? Yes. I think. Maybe. But they aren't whiskers, they're just, like, markings that are made to look like whiskers? That's a good question. I don't have an answer, Swirl. Okay. I, I sadly don't know what to say. Does Ari have human ears under her fox ears? Depends on the fan artist. Well, I I should probably not Google her official art. No, oh, no. You probably shouldn't, shouldn't Google, Google her non-official art. I shouldn't Google her in general, yeah. Yeah. I love Yasuo just <laughs> being dead on the ground. It's such a funny... Wait, when uh... did he die? Oh shit. <laughs> I looked away and now he looks dead. It's so... Yasuo he he doesn't, up. like... He's not even... It's, it's not even, like, implying that he's... Like, I know the KO implies that he's, like, actually knocked out, but... It's so funny when characters are just... Just go from like their their normal idol animations to just just jump cut dead. They're dead. Dead. And then you died. Why am I taking so much damage per second? I also appreciate that they made Yasuo's hair look slightly less like a hairbrush with this model. I think it was supposed to look like a hairbrush, though. I mean, it normally does. I think that is part of it. Alright, just murder. So it is kind of a weird choice. Aw, oh, man, she did her alt, I think. Maybe. I forgot what Ari's alt looks like. Ari's alt... Uh, cause, like, after she, she did get a rework. Um... Oh, it's different? Now? Ari's ult is a- Ari's ult is a dash, and it gives her, like, orbs or something. I don't remember. It might just increase her AP for a bit, and her cooldowns or something. Wow, you guys really do like giving me stuff that's worse than what I have. That was a note about Swain. 
Wait, what? Well, it was a note to Swain. Dear Swain, stop being a bird person. Signed, all of Noxus. Was that about right? Was that was that the note was about? Uh, I think it was more like, Dear Swain, please turn back, we're all going to die. Swain, that yordle you sent his back up is insane. Please, please, Swain, why? We love Kled. I think Swain has a line about how he doesn't believe in him or something. Like he doesn't think he exists? Yeah. You know the- I, I- it makes me uncomfy that in lore, Lulu has canonically met Draven. Why does it make you uncomfortable? It's from a- it's from a- it's- it's not like- well, it's- it's not really uncomfortable, it's more like it feels like something that should not have happened. I mean, you could say that about a lot of League. Canonically, Lulu and Tristana have- have met Draven. And by met, I mean Draven tried to kill them. Draven! But Draven's the best! I, I I think the story kind of like implied that he was just like fucking around in the woods. I'm not sure. That sounds like Draven. Oh, she just vampires. Yep. Oh yeah, no, you're definitely staying in the party. Single target magic damage, single target magic damage, and a fucking life steal. Oh. Single hell. target, single target magic damage plus party heal. Yeah, that's uh, that's all really good. We've got our final team, boys. <laughs> Yasuo, Ari, and Brom. Honestly, yeah. So Yasuo and Ari are like they've got a they've got like a kind of will they won't they thing going on, and then Brom is just there like. I bring the shields. You guys can make out behind me. <laughs> Stay dead. You know how always like, why don't I get to be in the team with Brom? Well, always just like, ugh. That Watching twig of a woman gets to be on the thing. front lines, not me. With these robots, stay dead! I'm curious about, uh... Have you ever played a game where, like, it's not just, like, the party splitting up, or it's like... You're playing one campaign, like one part, one half of the campaign, and then it switches to like a different area with a different set of of main characters you're using, and you kind of swap back and forth between them. Uh, yeah, between we just did that. Segments. It was Tearing Saga. <laughs> okay, besides Fire Emblem, because they tend to do that. They do that in some of the games, yes. Uh, oh, Trails. Trails. Uh, Trails and Reverie, the last English-released game. The big gimmick was, um... There are three different routes, and you gotta switch between all of them. I wouldn't mind, like, a setup where you're playing, uh... Oh, yeah, this is a puzzle, but it's not that hard. I wouldn't mind a setup where you're playing as, like... You're switching from one side to the other. So it's, like, the, the antagonists and the... the and the and the heroes, right? But they're kind of both morally gray, and you're swapping between them, right? Yeah. So then, like, what happens in the what happens at the end when they presumably meet up, right? Because that's that's always what happens in a, a book that where the characters swap perspectives. Yeah. I, I, I think the only like relatively big game I've, I can think of lately that's done that is probably, like, Detroit Become Human. Good old Detroit. Good old Detroit.
Yeah, so this puzzle is literally just... Did you finish kindergarten? Well, I can't believe how easy this fucking puzzle is. <laughs> Do you know your colors, Ravs? No. Yes. Wait, is that really it? What the hell, game? It tells you the primary color combinations, too. This is the easiest fucking puzzle of all time. They wanted to make it really easy for the colorblind people. Oh, cool. I got the, the weapon I'm already using on Ari. Oh, and it's way better, because it always does that. It is enchanted. Oh yeah, have you been enchanting your stuff? No. Not much, right? No. Um... Do you want to be more overpowered? Where's the enchantment? Oh, there's, there's, a, there's, a lore, there's a lore scroll back there, by the way, next to the color theory thing. Scorched three. What is half? The, what's these infusions? Sure. So the way that it works is, um, you can use less ingredients than required to, uh, but they'll have a only percentage chance of working. And if you use more ingredients than required, you can increase the. You have a percentage chance to increase the quality of the enchantment based on the overflow percentage. I see. Wait, what gives me the most attack power? Wait, I can just give Ari more lifesteal? Wait, hold on. I'm not gonna do enchanting until, like, I have endgame gear. Yeah. Not that the final fight is difficult, though. I, like, I... I mean, I did mine on hard mode without healing items, and I did it on my- and I did the final play on my first try. I mean, we're fighting Diego! How hard could he possibly be? He's not. He's not. The- the issue with him is that if you want everything in the- the bestiary, um, you need to fight him with your normal party, and then again with the party members that you weren't using the first time. He probably just sits there and goes, where, where, where? I miss my wife. I mean, yeah. And then I'm like, don't worry, I found your wife. She's mine now, Viega. Canonically, a piece of her soul is in Yorick's Miss Maiden. Is it really? Canonically, yes. Yorick's just like, I got your fucking wife, bitch. Part of it is in Senna, part of it is in Gwen, part of it is in the Miss Maiden. Uh, I think... The part in the Mist Maiden was like representative of her like her depression or her anger or something. I don't remember. Probably both. Diego, I got your wife, but I got her depression, so I mean the maiden is basically just like a emotional parasite that's latched onto him. <laughs> York's like this counts as being in a loving relationship. Imagine like being resurrected and you 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 get a, 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 the soul of your dead boss's wife is like hanging around. No, it's not even his. Viego wasn't even his boss. Viego Viego just showed up and just burned his kingdom to the ground, like his 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 people's land to the ground because they wouldn't give him the the water that that brings people back to life because they claimed it didn't exist when they very clearly knew it did. Because, like, realistically, if you had immortality water... Diego's like, people... I know you have water that brings people back to life. They're just like, no, we don't. It's like, I see the zombie right there. They were like, no, we don't. And eventually they were like, yeah, we do, but you don't really want to use it. It's not like, it's it's a very small, you know, it'll fuck with the balance of the world. And then, and then, uh, they called Yorick, and that didn't work, so they just called Yorick and over, and he basically told, uh... Viego that his wife was happy being dead and she was like at peace with her troubles and he was like okay we can go home now and then Thresh was like yeah but what if we kill them anyway and he was like you know what that's a great idea how do I get rid of the fire hold on uh, 
there are... I don't remember if this one's a, a party interaction. Uh, Yasuo's thing can mess with... Yasuo's sword makes wind, which is useful for some puzzles, but I don't know if it's part of this. Oh, it is. I think... Thanks. Hold the on. Things, the things that Yasuo's overworld ability is normally for are, like, flags and flag and stuff like that. Yeah, it's not yet, so... What else do I have? Hmm, if I get rid of the fire... What game was it that I was that I was playing, like, a few days ago, where I had locked an enemy in their... in one of their animations in a, a funky way? Why can't I remember what it was? Swirl? I have yeah. no idea. Yeah, I know you wouldn't know. <laughs> you were you were definitely not there. I know you would not know what it was, but Yeah, how the hell do I get this orb? Hmm. I would think it would be a game on my recently played thing on Steam, but it No, I I know what it was. It was uh I was, I was, it was Untitled Goose Game. I was doing, like, Steam Remote Play local co-op. And basically the groundskeeper, if you, um, if you circle around him in the right way, you can, you can basically get him stuck in an animation indefinitely. As long as you keep doing it. Oh, it's a timing puzzle. Uh, I genuinely don't think I'm getting hurt by this. I think you should probably wait longer. It's only when the light is off and the celestial logic align. Oh, God. How we doing, fellas? This is annoying. What does it mean by them so being aligned? Like, they're never aligned. But if I just keep spamming it. Yeah, that, that's basically it. A lot. It realigns every thirty-three seconds. I mean, I'm not really getting damaged. And it's it's not a very good item that you get for it, by the way. This is spite now. Don't tell me I need like fortune or someone. Are you serious, game? How have I not gotten it? I'm done. I'm out. Fuck you. That was so this um this 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 puzzle likes to, this puzzle in quotes likes to bug, and by that I mean the that see that object there that the, the celestial objects thing that you have to yeah be keeping track of. Uh, sometimes it just doesn't spawn. I see. You can still do it, but no. Uh, also the sound that it makes isn't synchronized with it. That explains it! I was going off of sound! Yeah, it's- it's terrible. Thanks, I hate it. So the uh the 
the, the orrery thing over there, the the, the, the mechanical model of the solar system is what they are, right? Yeah. Um when it when it bugs you can uh when when it bugs you can you can see it in the bottom left of the map. So is that how you still do the puzzle even if it bugs? Yeah, if it's bugged, uh, he, that's how you do it. That puzzle sucked. Oh, it's terrible. We're not doing it. I don't care if I don't get 100%. Oh yeah, so the way that they want like the 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 one in the bottom left of the platform show is like the one on the bottom left part of the map on the platform is showing you how they're supposed to be aligned. Because it doesn't just want them in a, it doesn't want the planets all lined up. It wants them in a specific in a specific oh, way. Okay. Well, then let's check the, Okay. Well, It's stupid. Well, let's try this again. Now that I know what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, it's supposed to be this. Big planet at the top, the, the ring planet next to it, the small planet at the bottom, and all of them on the left side of the sun. I thought it looked like it. Oh my god. Yeah, this 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 puzzle sucks. Objectively, one of the worst pu the the worst of this game. Well, what do I even get from this? It's like a it's like a level 18 to him. It's not very it, it it it's it's pretty mediocre. Like it's not great. Fuck it. Okay. I'm just no. It's just it, the, the timing feels so off. Yeah, no, it's it's bad. Yeah, they 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 made it terribly. Gotta make sure I grabbed everything else. I just explode? Hooray! Puzzles! You should have oh, I love I saw your 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 feet get stuck in an animation lock. Awesome! <laughs> For a sec. That was good. That is Look, exactly what I wanted to hear. You say you like a certain amount of jank in your games. I do! The running animations already look janky as all hell. And then, uh... Uh, Ari and Yasuo run like they're... <laughs> like they're underwater. They got, like, these big strides. They run like they're underwater. Have you ever been... You know, you've, yeah. you've been in pools deep enough where you can just, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm not that tall, Swirl. Like, I've been in pools that are deep. I... Wow, these enemies are so difficult. I'm only like a level ahead of them. Why am I doing so much damage? Uh, you have good items, and this game is very generous. Woo, more level ups. assume I have to hit all of them when I when I try to like yeah 
When I look for information about Rune King, it's so funny. I always get info for Diablo 4. That makes sense. These... these puzzles are... I wish they it was easier to tell how things would rotate. Yeah, I'm not even really sure. I am just spitballing here. Well, I think this is how you do it. No, I... Surely this one. Nope. <laughs> it just skips lighting that one arbitrarily. Yeah, it always skips one of them. For fuck's sake, people. Exploring the spooky island. Yeah, that's the best I can come up with for today. I mean, that's, that's fair. I'm a fan of the spooky island. Didn't you have it for a sec? Hold on. I'm like close. I thought you had it for a second there. Yeah, you think so. I thought you did. I don't think it like... Does it play an animation or does it just open the door? Because I genuinely do not remember. Come on! Game! No, stop! I it just... You. It just arbitrarily decides it doesn't want to. But I mean, there should be all of them, right? I think I have to get it like... Oh, it's a specific... Icon Game, you have to like, that, what right? the fuck is this? Like, I... Yeah. Is it the symbol above the door you need to make? Oh. Okay, I was trying something completely different. <laughs> I was just trying to... Okay, now that makes sense. I should have paid attention to the puzzle. <laughs> Shut up, troll. <laughs> <laughs> I never said I was good at this stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so... Can I get a puzzle reset? Uh, maybe if you leave the room and come back in. Watch that I didn't. Yeah, here we go. Hey? Hey! Okay, well, how do I get through this door then? Uh, I think the, the icon changed. Okay, so I gotta do this door then. Like this. It's it's hard to tell what alignment, like what angle they want it to be aligned. I know, at. it's really annoying. There we go. I hope everyone liked the light puzzle. Woo. Uh, I got weapons. Let's see if they're any good. Wow, that's a worse weapon for you, Ari. Worse weapon for I uh, Alawi. It might be a better weapon if you enchant it. It's a better weapon for Yasuo. He gets more attack. 
That's all that matters, is the- how much attack. Marginally better weapon for Yasuo, plus 200 HP for him is quite a bit. I don't care about HP, he just needs fighting. Well, he, he has died a few times in the last fights. I have recovery items. Okay. I can recover from Death Swirl. Fishing time! You've been I, I... keeping up with the fishing, right? Sure! I'm only doing this because I remembered I want to buy some of the outfits. Yeah, he's, he's not keeping up with the fishing, you guys. No, don't tell chat that, then they'll discover that I don't actually care. Your... Your fishing rod is like eight levels down for this area. I, I, I have to get a better fishing rod? Yeah. Catch the stupid fish, you stupid bastard fish people. I I found out semi recently that you can that the different fish in Animal Crossing have different like levels of awareness to where your bobber is. I think I knew that. I don't remember. Okay, here, here's a better lure and a better pole. Let's see if they bite now. I think that lure could work. Come on, come on, you stupid. Yes. I want to buy Ari's outfit. I mean, buy outfits. <laughs> Her pajama outfit. Fuck yes, yeah, snapping turtles. That's that's definitely a cool thing. We like turtles. Turtles are fish, apparently. I used to do that in Animal Crossing when I caught the turtle. I would have it in my house as a pet because it was the closest thing you'd get to like an actual pet in that game. Are turtles your favorite animal? I don't think so. No. The turtle, the turtle joke just came about because of the of my my strategies. Your play style. Yeah. I mean, it's King's play style too. See, I'm not the only one. It's probably Zave's fault. <laughs> Wow, I'm gonna have to How do a lot of fishing if I want to get a hundred of these suckers. Well, there are also legendary fish that are worth very large amounts. The legendary fish! There's also one spot in the game where you were- for- for Brahm's weapon, where you're kind of meant to fish the entire spot anyway. And you have to, because if you- once you go there, if you don't fish the entire spot clean, you can't go back there again. So if you don't have the upgrades for getting the fish there, you're just locked out of the item. And the achievement. Cool. Guess I have to go buy fishing stuff. Uh, it's it's not for a little a, a bit later. You got a one-eyed thingamajigger. Oh, cool. Did you know that fish are terrifying and evil? Yes. Yes. Have you seen those uh those goldfish where like they have those blobby bits that grow over their eyes? Yes. And they have to be cut off. Yeah, I've seen those. And it, they, f and it, they, it, they have nerves there. They feel that. Ugh. Yeah, it's. Uh, apparently, it's it's not like super painful for them. But the fact that they can feel it in general, and they were selectively bred to be like that. Why? Is just. I mean, I think it's the same logic people had with, like, pugs and, uh, French bulldogs. Yeah, but pugs We're... look cool. Well, yeah, but they can't breathe very well. Uh, game? What the hell am I trying to reel you in? There are people that are trying to, like, reverse the genetic damage caused to pugs, uh, and they're trying to, to breed, like, Pugs that are reminiscent of how they used to be before selective breeding messed them up. Have you have you seen them before? They're called no. retro pugs. I've seen pugs. Go 
Great catch! Nice catch! I actually, I mean, as much as as much as I enjoy uh, Pug's faces, I like Retro Pug's quite a bit. They look pretty cute. The best dog are those ones that fight bears. The best dogs are the ones in the Resident Evil game. <laughs> hey, it's that dog. A crab. Uh, the ones in the Resident Evil games that scare the hell out of you. And then they don't in the remake, and then they do. Hey, it's that dog. You know, those dogs. Oh, I'm talking about the dog in 4. The one that helps Leon with a boss fight. Oh, yeah. Where the infamous, hey, that it's that dog, comes from. Mm-hmm. It's like, what did I all get from that? Is that even worth anything? No, because it's a little bit of everything. Great. Your right hand comes off. God, I love the original RE4. It's so much better than the remake. Swirl, have you ever played the original RE4? I have not. You don't know what Sa you don't know what uh, Salazar sounds like. I might have to show you some stuff. No. No? I, well, no, I mean, like, no, I don't know. Not no, I don't oh. want to know. The last plague as I slaves to my will. Have, have I talked to you about... Have I talked to you about Chance of Sinar? Yeah, that's the game where you try to figure out languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's not hurt. It's, a, it's a nice vibe kind of game. No conflict. Puzzle games to me are like either hurry. my brain will understand or no. Uh, Chance of Sinar, the actual puzzle work in in Chance of Sinar is like pretty much uh, is is pretty good. Like it's not something you're gonna lose your lose like four hours to because you made a wrong assumption at one point. But it is it, it is flawed in the sense that it has. Um, Badly made stealth sections. For some reason. Badly made stealth. Why? It. I don't know. Man, you want a game that's a vibe? Did you ever watch me stream Loot Acid? Uh, I did. That's a I, vibe. Loot Acid has a similar vibe to Barony, except with a with the with the dash of everything hates you. It's a little more than Barony. Swirl. Ludacid is literally just Kingsfield. Like, that's what it is. <laughs> I'm asked fair. Kingsfield, for those who don't know in chat, is what FromSoft made before Dark Souls. Oh, yeah, so um, here's what a retro pug looks like. And honestly, Ludacid's a fucking. That's a vibe. You fight a vampire boss, you don't actually beat him. He kind of, he kind of just go, he kind of goes away because he's sick of you. Interesting thing about retro pugs is they actually have snouts. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. Uh, I like adorable. Em. I like them. I mean, all dogs are, all dogs are good. No, dogs are evil. Paintings of retro pugs are pretty pretty neat, or like the original pugs before they were inbred. I they would just look look at these look at this painting. That's a good boy. It is a good boy. That's a good boy. Imagine hand painting your fucking dog in medieval times. It's- it's signed in the corner. I wanna know who that pair is. It was me! Uh, so, modern day retro pugs are- are bred with, uh... Are basically pugs that are bred with Jack Russells. Meanwhile! Yeah. 
welcome gangplank to my inner sanctum. Oh, you don't get to sound like this, Thresh. You don't get to sound like you're gonna start busting out the ASMR any minute. <laughs> Go away. Come back when you sound more evil. I actually, I actually like his ghosty design here, where he's kind of got like the hair. Yeah, of course, Swirl. What? What? I bet you like the voice too. I, I have audio turned off, but yes, I do like his voice. <laughs> Thresh is gonna go gangplank. I found you a fucking shirt. Wear Passive it. Passive aggressively, yeah. Please. It's a double XL. Come on, buddy. <laughs> the idea that Thresh is uncomfortable with gangplank being shirtless. Who are you even showing off to? Everybody here is dead. Is that it? The ancient king sword. Wait, is that Matt Mercer? That gangplank is Matt Mercer. Matt Mercer's just like, I will never remove, I will never put a shirt on. If Misfortune's tits get to sh uh, get to face the camera, then I get to go shirtless for this game. Thresh's voice actor is Mark Oliver. And Thresh is like, for the love of God, everyone needs to put a shirt on. I'm the most clothed person in this game. And I'm dead. He really is. He really is. It's so unfortunate. The, the, the true reason he killed Viego is because Viego refused to wear a shirt. Viego, fucking stop. <laughs> what a fucking put your pants back on, Viego. That's it. I'm killing this idiot. The idea that <laughs> the idea that Thresh, uh, like, probably the single worst, like, the person of probably the single worst moral character in this entire franchise is <laughs> the idea that he draws the line, <laughs> but uncomfortable with like. Gangplank not having a shirt on is the funniest thing. You'll catch a fucking cold, gangy. <laughs> you see, you read the book and you find out about these terrible, terrible things that he's done. <laughs> and then you get to the. <laughs> Look, I've been dead for 2,000 years. My priorities have changed. <laughs> Look, if I don't. Look, look, look at this shirt I'm wearing. I'm even wearing pants, Gangplank. I'm a ghost. With the Buru so artifacts good. you delivered from Bilgewater, we shall extract the king. There's a bit in the book that talks about how, like, uh... Oh, yeah, so, hold on, hold on. Let's talk for a minute. So, there's a bit in, in one of League's loading screen tips that talks about... Or, actually, it's in Legends of Runeterra that talks about how, despite him having a lantern, Thresh does not need it because he has he can see in the dark. But the, the 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 lantern is uh moral support. Thresh, In why quotes. why do you have the lantern? It accentuates the visual <laughs> gag, gangplank. <laughs> I'll explain the lantern when you put on a fucking shirt. <laughs> it all circles back to that. I want gang. I want a Thresh skin, but all his lines are him just like angrily complaining about everyone like an old man. <laughs> Kids these days casting fireballs. No, I had to do the ruination. There's too many people on this planet. I carry it with me always. But he gave it to me five minutes ago. The king is a creature. But I, I kind of don't like that. The book retconned it in such a way that, like, Thresh's reasoning for the events of the Ruination were because he wanted to serve under Viego as, like, a, a functioning, like, higher member of his court. Because he basically had no future there, because he, uh, in, in his home city. Comes, your mortal will must defeat the kings. So Thresh's plan is to have Gangplank overpower Viego? Yes. Well, that because should be he has easy. The, Viego weighs like has, five he, pounds. Because Gangplank has the anti-mist necklace, 
but he's also Gangplank, and this is Thresh. It is not going to go well for either of them. You're not well, going it'll go to well be... for Thresh, but not Gangplank. You're not going to betray me, are you? No, no, I'm not. You remember to draw the signal that says, uh, please, in, uh, please steal my soul here on your chest, right? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Authors, no pops from the corner of the screen. Oh. It should be noted that, that Thresh notoriously has betrayed every single person he has worked for previously. Thresh just goes, I'm not lying, and then in a text box, Thresh was definitely lying. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like a telltale game. Ah, you trust Thresh. What a fucking stupid idea. You see. This king and I are from an older so time. Good. This king I, I and do. I are from an older time. One that League refuses to, but also over explains. <laughs> it's it's fun this line implies that that, that Thresh and Viego were friends, and they absolutely were not. You know my brother my good friend Vigat Vigo. Vigoro. Yes, him! <laughs> Shut up, no gash. Go. You're like the worst. I I do like this thrush design though. Unironically, like if this has if this was how they decided to kind of make human thrush design, like I would have been cool with this. I don't know. I keep looking back at his. Oh, wait, okay. No, his legs are reasonably proportioned. I don't know. I thought they looked really weird and spindly. I mean, they're a little weird. I think his his little uh. Tuft of on the front of his cape makes it kind of uh Almost visibly noisy. As as That's right. If you have the power of the ruined king, you still will lose to misfortune. Sorry. Greater than hers. Greater than hers. That's right. Matt Mercer the pirate. I I find it odd that he you even knows who know she is. What sleeps in the heart of your enemy. Uh, Misfortune, uh, he offered Misfortune the same deal two days before the game's event started. She just shot him in the head. I mean, he does, like, he does double-cross everything. Like, the- the first- the first big thing that we find out about him doing in the book is him kidnapping one of his superiors and then, like, chaining him to a wall in, like, uh, in, like, a, a high- a, a, like a- a tucked away so. corner in the catacombs where no one can find him you and see, leaving Viego, him there. You see, Viego, I'm not late to work because my supervisor never showed up at all. Take yeah, that, that's you that's, twink. That's what happened. They were basically like, hey, he hasn't reported back in, like, a month. Uh, you can take his job. I'm just and like, it was like, I'm cool! Just, I'm just imagining just, like, Viego is, like, sitting on his throne and someone's like, guys, guys! Thresh's supervisor disappeared, and Vago's like, this is the fourth fucking time this month. Why does this keep fucking happening? Look, I just want to fuck my wife in peace. Go send Thresh to do something stupid. <laughs> Thresh's Thresh plans are always very stupid, but they work. He he fails upwards, and it's... it's. He's Nagash, but he has the Skaven spirit. Thresh has plot armor. <laughs> Such is the power of Thresh. Like, he has, like, he has, he has main character energy, but the opposite way. There's a, there's a Skaven that's exactly like that. Uh, Thankwell. In old, uh, Warhammer lore, he was just this fucking Skaven that failed at everything, but at the end was always like, All according to my master plan! And he was the best. Everyone fucking loved him. King I'm glad. Ruin. Uh, the King of Ruin's sword is two doors down. This is actually his uncle's sword. The it's King just of... some random Zweihander they found lying around. He just- he picks it up and the guy goes, I am the king of the kitchen! What sandwich would you like, Thresh? Now that you've summoned me and my giant kitchen knife. <laughs> the implication- that the Blade of the Rune King is just like a very large butter knife. Thresh goes crap. Oh no, 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 no. It's one of, it's like it's one of those, one down. of those like, one of those skewers that they put like olives. 
I skewer those... the fish in the water and then I cook it over a flame. No, it's one of those skewers that they like they put in sandwiches to like hold them together. Thresh, you're gonna use this sword to make an a uh, 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 sandwich that gives you at least a level three egg power, a level two experience boost, and a however the fuck the sandwich mechanic worked in Scarlet and Violet. Are you uh, are you aware of um? I, I, oh, I always forget that Thresh had a man bun in the uh, in his in the book. Um, hold on. Oh shit! Cutscene happening. Yeah. Gameplay's like, what the fuck? Okay, that's not what Diego looks like. You gotta not get rid of some of that weight. Diego is like... Diego is like... 15 oh, pounds shit. lighter, at least. Yeah, there he is. Fuckboy Thresh. Talking to normal Thresh. I... <laughs> Fuckboy Thresh? Vieg- Ugh. Fuckboy spelled F-U-C-C-B-O-I, for those curious. Viego looks like how I describe a Starian. <laughs> and yes, that is an insult. Because I actually like Astarian's design. I like- I mean, I'm here for it, except for him being a little- a, a little too built for his situation. Yeah, I don't know why a ghost has muscles. I mean, Thrush has hair. Thrush is like, alright, Viego, you got half of a shirt, but Christ, man! Does, does anyone wear proper clothing around here? And like I canonically, wish. like Viego fought in in wars because the people of Campbellvor were like conquerors. Imagine getting beaten by the world's most uh, fucking strongest twink. What the hell does that do to your <laughs> self-esteem? Well, the sword also like drains people's souls. Like that's part of what it does. He, he just goes on the battlefield. And the enemy just laughs until he starts stealing their souls, and they're like, "Ah, shit." It's like you get stabbed with the sword. You are your soul is sucked into the sword. My queen. Oh my god, dude! You were just brought queen. back. Who's my he's wife? already where? He's already like, oh damn, where's my where's, wife? Where's my wife, Thresh? What did you do with her? It's okay. I left part of her with Yorick. It's just snap cube Sonic tub. Like I want my wife back, Tails. I miss my wife, Thresh. Your slumber has weakened you. We will search for her when you I thought by this return. point Gwen had been awake. So Thresh's can uh canon age uh is approximately somewhere between a thousand and forty eight and a thousand and seventy three. Uh, he stopped counting, of course. He was born in s somewhere between seventy five and fifty BN. I what do those mean? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. I wasn't so much born, Viego, but I was spawned. <laughs> to make your life a living hell, boy. Where is she? If I told you she was in a doll, would you believe me? I mean, it's technically true. Love it deserves to see you in all your royal might. With all I just want to see my wife thrush. I could care less. She sh she should yes. be in the d like the doll should have come to life already. I yeah, I believe. <laughs> she waits for me. I believe, like canonically, her soul has woken up by this point, at least in Gwen. Yeah, but Gwen the doll is just sitting there, like around, and like there is only one Gwen. Gwen was made by Zold as like. A so thing. I'm going to theorize here that Gwen isn't a party member because the writers could not figure out what Diego and Gwen's interaction should be. I, I I think it would have been... I think their interactions would have been weird. My wife! No. No. I... I... 
I, yeah, it would be a weird situation. Because so Gwen technically soul. has part of his old soul. But... Gwen was made she by Isolde. Is so that would be like... His love for her is merely a means to control him. That would be like if you if that would be like if you made a robot and then your brain was put into it. Wait. But not quite. Six is queen, but she's long dead. Fresh! Don't you didn't you if you had sent a soul, didn't you have part of his oldest soul then at one point too? Like, shouldn't you know like realize her uh, soul's still out there? Part of, uh, part of her soul's in Senna. Or Senna, whatever. It's Senna, Gwen, and, then and, Yorick. and the Mist Maiden, yeah. But, like, didn't Thresh have Senna's soul for a while? Yep. He was literally just holding onto it. <laughs> Thresh goes, ah, sh I mean, so, his queen is dead! No way to bring her back! Okay, so it was established that Thresh's mind in the canon lore is actually, like, as an entity of the mist, and the, because the mist the estate, is derived from Viego, um, Thresh's mind and is altered to like his his obsession with Senna specifically is subconsciously because she has part of his old soul. So everybody who's touched by the mist is like their mind is affected by the mist, but the mist originates from Viego's heart or whatever. And, uh, the, the mist originates from where Viego was stabbed in the heart by his old. Uh, and because the, and because of that, the mist is seeking out her soul to, like, reform it because Viego wants his wife back. And because of that, Thresh is, Thresh subconsciously wants, uh, Senna for that per uh, like, he, he wants Senna for his- because he's an asshole, but subconsciously, it is because of that. I took your white lo wife, Lucian. It's stupid. Great hit damage. Thank you for telling me that game. I definitely hasn't figured out how critical hits work. That's like one of the two cutscenes that Thresh gets. My what? No more Thresh? I mean, you can fight him. Like he's optional? No. I can't wait to kill him. It was- it's a very easy fight. He just wastes his turns complaining about people's lack of clothing. No, it's actually pretty neat. The way that, uh, the way that he, uh, they simulated his ult is by uh, they trap all of the lanes except for like one small spot, so you have to keep switching back and forth. That sounds hyper annoying. I, I mean, it's it's not a hard fight. I, I don't I don't remember them being super punishing with it, and I did it on my first try. So. And you were doing it on hard mode with one hand tied behind your back. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you're not gonna struggle with it. I mean, yeah, I'm the best. Yeah, also, yeah. Yasuo does six billion damage. True. Oh yeah, Yasuo hasn't even had his character arc yet. Wait, what? Oh yeah, Yasuo's supposed to have a character arc in this game. He does? He does, yeah. Braum doesn't. <laughs> Yasuo is coming to terms that both him and his brother are fucking animals. <laughs> I thought you meant that metaphorically. You did not, did you? Uh, Centaur and Vestaya, so no. No, you didn't. Come on, Swirl, I made a joke about Yone and, uh, the Centaur, like, every stream. I know. Give, give me a second. I think I'll check. Yet another. I broke swirl chat. But <coughs> Oh my god. <coughs> I'm not dead. Well, wow, this game's really 
Combat something joke. Fuck. Okay, I might be more tired than I thought I was. Yes, give me Shrine of Energy. What does that do? Stop being annoying! Friends, I have my shield, and I give you shield. Stop doing that. So I was um I was checking my phone because I had it in the other room. Yeah. Nothing really of note except that my mother sent me a video of somebody drawing on a cat's uh like little paw pads to make it look like a bear, like a teddy bear. It sounds adorable. I... It is pretty cute, but... I hope the ink was not toxic. Yeah, I was sure hoping. Also, that. also, it's a... It's a... Those are pink paw pads, and pink paw pads are more... are more sensitive than gray paw pads. So, I would imagine that was probably not the best feeling thing for the cat. Yeah! But it didn't, like... Try to... Move it all during that. Total trust between human and animal. <laughs> yeah. Absolute trust among humans is letting someone is letting your is, is letting one of your parents tattoo you. I like that I can hit enemies with Ari's ability on the recoil. Yeah, I like that. I mean, that's how her ability works in the game. <laughs> it's almost like I played Ari before. I understand that you play Ari. Yeah. She was actually pretty fun. I found out uh, a few days ago that League's uh, logs aren't encoded very pro properly on Windows, and it will keep recalculating the file size indefinitely. So I checked my my storage, and it said that League was taking up 2.92 terabytes. League of Legends, uh, yes, Ackley. It said that League was taking up 2.92... Oh yeah, Ackley doesn't know anything about League. All you need to know is that they ripped off Dota. And I don't know anything about Dota. I don't know anything about Dota, although in the short amount of time I have played Dota, I will say it is an objectively better... It is an objectively don't better worry. game. I'll make this quick. But I enjoy League more. <laughs> You know what? I will definitely believe 100% that. Because somehow League not being the best MOBA, but still being the most popular makes way too much sense. Yeah, Dota was released first. Dota 1 was is like ancient. Dota 1, yeah, we're, we're on Dota 2. Get with the times, alright? Dota 1 was a fucking map pack for Warcraft 3. Kind of like TF2. Yeah, TF2 was a mode for Quake. Don't quote me, but I believe it was Quake. It feels kind of like uh, we we don't really get full games that are that started off as like one-off game modes for things anymore. Uh, that's because we don't have the tools to do that anymore. Well, I mean, yeah, but also, like, you gotta remember back in the day, you could do whatever the hell you wanted with Warcraft 3's create mode. I feel like I I feel like a lot of games just don't have as much heart as they used to, by comparison. Well the problem with the creative game mode is the people that made Dota then went and made two billion dollars with Dota. And Blizzard saw zero dollars from it. Eight. So well, yeah. when yeah. they introduced um Reforged, they were they literally put in a fucking um a stipulation that any maps made in Reforged is owned by Blizzard. I don't- I, I don't mind the- like, I, I don't mind having, like, creative liberties for, uh, 
like, well, I mean, if you're going to have, like, a content creator thing, I, th I think, like, to a degree, you know, you should be able to have some, some degree of control over how it's used eventually. But I think if you're, if you're making, if you're making content for the behalf of, uh, if you're if you're making like free to play content that ends up being profitable, like massively profitable for the company that created the tools for it, I feel like they probably should get like at least a bit, and you should at least get a bit. Yeah, but Blizzard wanted someone to make them the next Dota. Yeah. Like that's what they were banking on. And then they made Dota, and then half of the team was like, "Hey, fuck this," and then then made League. Imagine making League. Imagine. Imagine being Mr. Riot himself. Mr. Rito. Just taking these hits, I just don't care. Yeah, I mean... It's like, I could dodge or I could just not give a shit. Wow. What is that, Ackley? I've been I... No, Ackley, that's not what it is. That just- it just looked aesthetically better. We- we do a- we- we- we've been doing icons for each other when we- when we appear in each other's streams. Yeah, no, exactly, yeah. Dragon. I- in a perfect world, that would be what the case was. And honestly, that was like one of Reforge's many, many problems. I don't want to talk like, about it. The, like the the, the, the people who the pe like part of the like I I love when games I love when games hire uh I love when games hire people from like the the mod from the, the modding community onto their staff. Like Wait, I love okay, that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Random question: How much do you know about Warcraft? Not much. I I stay no I stay away I stay Il away from MMOs. I, let me see. Is it Illidan? Hold on. I guess well, saying World of Warcraft. Uh, stay away from. I, I stay away from MMOs in general, but like a lot of. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I have the the. I don't need his voice. Any, actor. Any... No, he's not voiced by Liam O'Brien. I refuse to believe this. Oh my god! What? Is. Same voice actor again? It, it's Illidan. Oh, he wasn't in yeah. Warcraft Three. That's why I didn't but notice you, the voice first yeah, time. Me. So you don't know who Ill uh, Illidan is? No. I might show you. Uh, we might have to watch the Warcraft three cutscenes. You might like him. That sounds like a threat. He is. He is a. Uh, he's basically a night elf that turns himself into a demon to try to save and protect his people. He's huh. a actually in Warcraft three. He's one of many very well written characters. I'm not even kidding. I really like Warcraft 3 story campaign because like there is like a main story but it's mostly like uh how certain characters get to certain positions interesting I'm only familiar with World of Warcraft uh Warcraft okay so yeah I know no this is this is a specific story that happened in World a couple of years ago so in Warcraft 3, one of the final maps in the base game is protecting this giant tree. And it's like a great map, it's this big moment where all the factions come together, it's so cool. It's such a cool moment. And then a couple years ago they burnt the tree down. Oh, that's... I see. And I was so sad. Why did it have to be Sylvana? I mean, if Why you have she... like a, if you have like a major like, if you have like a major moment like that, it's it seems uh pretty uh in poor taste to to do that. It was. I literally I watched the cutscene with a friend, and she was like, "Well, what'd you think?" And I'm like, "I spent." 30 minutes on that map defending that tree. Fuck you, Blizzard. I don't know what to do this. Hey, Glyph. Oh, I can tell you the puzzle. 
you want me to tell you? Hold on, let me look at the equipment I just got. We are totally talking about League of Legends lore and I didn't start waffling about uh, Warcraft 3. Okay, I was waffling about Warcraft 3. Okay, so there are a few different statues and you need to have them facing s specific directions. Okay, interesting. So the one... The one in the Shadow Vaults needs to face northeast. The one in the Vault of Giants uh, needs to face north. So this one needs to northeast? I believe, so. I believe this is the northeast one. We can we can always come back. Yeah. Okay, well, I didn't mean that for waffling. I meant, like, just talking about Warcraft 3. They're vampire elves, kinda. That's what the blood elves kinda are. In Is it? They're high elves? Yeah, kinda. I'm trying to remember the exact lore. They're part of Illidan's faction, or at least they were. Now they're horde for some reason. I, I like I like my vampire characters to have like a bit of flavor to them, besides just being vampires. Yeah, like how a Starian is really good at being a bench warmer. Right. Don't be like that. He has no muscle, Swirl. How is he supposed to fight? He unfortunately has a lot of muscle. Not nearly as much as the rest of the gang does, but more than he should have. I'm pretty sure he only has muscle because someone was like, nobody will be attracted to the anemic guy. I'm pretty sure it's because they want- they- they needed the characters to have similar body types to their mocap actors for the animations to line up properly. Uh, well, Astarian's supposed to be. Anemic's the Astarian word I'm looking is for, theoretically right? anemic. That's the word I'm looking for, right? Anemic is iron deficiency. Yeah. He's kind of just white- well, he's- yeah. But he's been starved of all that delicious blood by his evil master, Kazador. Who wants all the blood for himself. I... It... It, it confuses me. What's there to confuse? Kazador just sets up shop on one of the two routes to... Easiest routes to get to New Vegas. The other route is currently being plagued by Deathclaw, so you have to take the long way around. Which acts as the game's tutorial. I hate it here. Swirl, it's not my fault Kazador is already a name that takes up space in my brain for something else. It's just, it's literally, uh, this is what happens when you have a word that, when you use a word that is also like a word in other languages. Because it literally just means hunter. Yeah, but like, at least, okay, here's the thing. At least in New Vegas, which takes place in, um, Nevada, I at least can understand someone calling a giant bug a Kazador. Probably someone that spoke Spanish. I mean, one of the languages the natives speak up in uh, Zion, I believe it's a mix of, like, Spanish, German, and English? It's a made-up language. Zion, I think Zion is Utah. Yeah, but, like, it's... It's weird. I... I... I have to remember exactly where all the tr where the tribes originated from because they don't speak English. They speak like a different language because they basically. I mean, there there was like a. I mean, Utah did have like tribes there, like indigenous peoples that lived there. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think there's some indigenous. To I forgot what the like when they made the language. It's a mix of like. <laughs> Are we talk? We're not talking about the Ute tribe, are we? No, I'm. T I'm talking about in New Vegas, the two tribes that are in Zion National Park. I'm talking about real life. Well, yeah, real life probably also affected that, like the real life regions there. Yeah. Also, Joshua Graham's a Mormon. That always confuses me. One of the biggest badasses in all of Fallout is a goddamn Mormon. 
He also just refuses to die. Wait, wait, wait. Where does that come up? Um. So, in Fallout's lore, there's a place called New Canaan, which is in Utah. And they're, like, religious. And Joshua Graham is a hyper-religious person. Like, that's right. a big part of his, like, characterization. And since Utah is Mormon, like, that's most likely what his religious beliefs are. Okay. But Joshua Graham was also covered in uh, petrol, lit on fire, and thrown off the gra thrown into the Grand Canyon and survived, so... I see. Oh, hey, actually, Rez, um... Try. You know, so you know how Inscription had, like, the collectible card pack for, like, yes. the, you know, they came out with another one. <gasps> and they restocked the old ones. <gasps> I can buy physical Inscription cards. Yeah. I can get the squirrel. Um, I think the new ones are, hold on. Squirrel, can you send me a link, please? Yep, I'm doing it right now. Please, thank you. I think they're allowed to drink coffee now. I don't know, Joshua Graham- Here's the thing, I don't think Joshua Graham needs coffee to stay awake, because he is canonically always in pain. Like, he's covered in head-to-toe in burns. Okay, so the the most- the more interesting cards that are available in this set. They they came out with physical cards, like the uh, physical versions of the cards you play with, Ackley. And yeah, I um, I mirror, the... ten mirror Tentacle is part of it, Ouroboros is part of it, Plasma Ouroboros. Jimmy is Wait, part of it. Is the fucking lizard, the immortal lizard part of it, what was it, Gek? Gex? Gex. Uh, there is one that starts with a G, but I think it's a Mox card. In control. Yeah, it's a Mox card. I wanna play it. Is it? Wait, no, that's not a- Wait, I just that's uninstalled not a... it. Cause I'm trying to like- That's not a Mox card, that's a- Trust. That's one of the energy we cards. No reason to fear you. Uh, here you go. That game was fun, but I have trouble in Casey's mode. Yeah. I wish that were true. When's Slay the Spire the 2 coming out, energy. please? Uh, it's- they- well, they- they spent like a year switching it over to Godot, because Unity was terrible. Energy is lame. I liked... I like the Slay starter the Spire. deck. Slay the Spire 2 is expected in 2025. Oh. Also, like, okay, unrelated. When we is Hades 2 just Hades 1, but the ma with a magic meter? When we stop, we like, is I, that all it is? Because I'm not buying that if that's all it is. I have not played Hades 2. Uh, the only thing I really know about it is that all of its code is available un- un- Uncompressed I in Lua for you to just mod someone. on the fly if you want to. I wonder what my life. I've and seen it can the character includes, like, designs. I have I have opinions. Mind. I don't. There's something about Hades' art design that I don't. Yeah, like. Ackley, I'll send you the card pack too. I don't know what it is. It's like. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're talking about. There's a second one. I don't know what it is about Hades art design. I feel like they're trying too hard to make everyone attractive. I think you could say that about uh, a lot of things. No, but like, I'll look at the, the Hades characters and I'll be like, okay, whatever. But like, I can, I, I don't know what I mean by that. There's just some weird artificiality I feel when I see the Hades cast. Glyph, I believe that's no longer the case, as I believe Hephaestus is just Senshi from Dungeon Meshi now. But, like... I don't know. I mean... Yeah, I, I'm not- I'm not saying... I'm not saying most settings, you know... I'm not saying most settings are, like, particularly realistic for having, like, a more characters who are of large build, but also, like, depending on your setting, it may be less feasible. I feel like, like if you're in a- Okay, hold on. If I'm... you're in a- if you're in a fantasy setting, where people are, like, where there's, like, 
all were past you know, leading to where you terrible economy here. going on. Yeah, there, there, there are probably some. There are probably people. No, dwarves should look like Sanji. Oh yeah, no, Hades absolutely has the the two body type kind of problem. I, I has will give I us. will give Hades credit. Aphrodite isn't just a chick with giant tits. They at yeah. least did something with her. Hades does have the problem of of uh of has been hotels like you have two body types you can draw and that's it. I think I would like Hades more if people weren't so convinced Thanatos is a good character. Okay. Well, would you like to say something, Swirl? I like Thanatos. Yeah, we'll it doesn't surprise that. me. I I do not like his room gimmick, and then you're supposed to be like, oh, but deep down he's a fuck you. Your room gimmick sucked. Go away. And no, I don't prefer his other love interest either. He's just mad because he's never beaten him. No, I did, but Thanatos is a fucking prick. He's like the butter the, the Pierce got, butterfly you've this, is you've got the me Pierce butterfly time. is like the key to one of the strongest builds in the game. Punch. Fucking just die, you stupid bastard. Also, fuck beating the game ten times. The game does not have enough content for ten runs. I believe That's you why you, right. you you turn up the Thank difficulty. You for helping me along my path. No, where Ex are my room layouts? Where There's are my enemies? Setting. There's where a are my setting. boss variants? There's a setting that gives Theseus a chariot and a minigun. <sighs> That's not enough. I want new bosses. There's a setting that makes you fight all of the harpies at once. I feel like I feel like Isaac has ruined me for unlocks. Not the harpies, the the, the furies. When do I lock a character that isn't Zangrius? Uh, Hades 2 has a character that isn't Zagreus. When do I lock a character I actually want to play as? Actually, she looks pretty cool, Blake. actually. Mystique. I like her design. The markings on it are reacting to Amelia Tyler's in it. Is this the work of okay, the another thing that's weird is why does Hecate look like she has a six-pack? She's a magic goddess. Oh no, Ari is going to find out about her people and how they were douchey scientists. Oh right, we're playing a League of Legends game. Yeah, it's a, it's a League of Legends game. I started talking about Hades. I do appreciate that this game at least has, at least doesn't counteract the lore of the book that much. I've carried these stones I mean, it's, it's still pretty stupid, but I appreciate that it doesn't counteract the lore. Since I was a new one? Why didn't you just say born, Ari? <laughs> Do you have to talk like a like a non-human? Yeah, so it's like I'm not interested anymore. She can't even do proper sentences. At least my brother's wife can do that. Not just Ari. Is it Lilia like they are vessels? For memories. I don't- I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I am I, only making sure this joke- I am only making this joke because I saw some, like, fan art of them being shipped together, and I thought it was the funniest thing without context. I, okay, I don't know- I don't know what Lilia's age is supposed to be, except for the fact that she was- she is the child of a sentient tree. Ivern? No. The- uh, well, yes, technically. Uh, so it's the- it's the god willow that Ivern planted when he cut the original one down. Oh my god. No. You know when he, he cut the original one down and it like cursed him with the whole, like, thousand years of hyper-empathy nonsense? I mean, not really cursed, but like, you know, he had to like- you're a tree now! He went through some stuff and it turned him into a tree. Long story short, don't piss off Demeter. The, so that tree was replanted, and that tree is, because the tree is a sentient entity that has, like, godlike powers, it, it, it manifested Lilia into being. It wanted a friend. Well, I played a game with a sentient tree once. The lore was that sentient trees used to, like, live everywhere. And when they're old enough, they go 
travel until they find a place to make a new forest. When they when they get old enough, they sprout legs and they walk away. Yeah, because that's <laughs> they, how that's how the world's forests were grown. They go on a midlife crisis, and that's what a treant is, and why they want to kick your ass. Yeah, he joins your party, and then I never used him because honestly, that game was weirdly balanced. What game is this? Uh, it's a game called Arcrest Generation of War, and I'm going to explain the plot of the game, and you're gonna think that sounds cool, but you're wrong. Okay. His roots. Basically, this guy makes a pact with a god that his descendants basically have to s keep fighting a dark god in order until they can find a solution to kill the god once and for all. Uh huh. So the game works on a generation system where each generation you have a new kid and then his three love interests who he gets to marry one to give birth to the next kid. And, wow, no, the game has a lot of gameplay issues. Starting with its timer. Something sinister lives here. Also, what? some bosses... Ti by, by timer, do you mean, like, it has a time limit? Yeah, uh, each generation counts the number of turns you take, and if you take too many turns, you cannot get the true ending in the final, uh, route. Oh. Look... I I don't look like the game uh the game unsighted uh it's a it, it's a cool game right uh pixely stuff like that it's but it's got a Let's it's crank, got a is that you? one oh. of the problems with unsighted is like its core mechanic is that all of the like all of the player care like the the, the, the the NPCs are like these sentient robots like android type things and they're all like They've got like their own society because the humans are all dead or something, right? Yeah. And the 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 stuff that fuels those that that, allow, that allows them to be sentient is running out. And there's a finite amount of it in the world. And what you need to do is collect it and bring it back to the NPCs and for yourself. And you ration it out to determine like who, you know, to keep them alive to buy yourself time enough to finish the game. And so the part of like the, the dilemma of the game is figuring out who you're going to save and who dies because stuff will happen. Like NPCs will be gone or go hostile if they if you uh, if you are not able to you know get the dust for them. Or uh, and and if you don't have enough for yourself, you know you 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 die because it's a thing. Um, and then there's also an NPC that can allow you to take time away from another character. I think I know but, what but, you're it, talking but the about. timer. The timer moves in real time, and it affects the ending and stuff like that. Yeah, NPCs can I, I, die I and are no longer accessible. About. Yeah, because NPCs can die and they're, they're no longer accessible. The problem is, if you have anxiety, it is not fun to do that. Um, if time constraints cause you stress, it is not the game to play. And there is a mode. There is a mode that completely disables the NPCs being able to die from not having the dust, right? But because there's a finite amount of time. Are you it, looking at the damage I'm doing? I'm looking at it. Yeah, that was like 1600. Uh, He's almost dead, and I have only done like two alts to him. I know, but the 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 mode that uh the mode that disables the timer. I think it's part of one of the assist modes. It, took it like two seconds. Of, it, it, it completely ruins the it completely ruins the tone and the the established tone and moral like dilemma that the game is is trying to put on you, right? I think yeah. instead what they should have done is had like designated major checkpoints and like made you give the dust to people that everyone that you wanted to keep alive at those checkpoints. They should have called it spice. I don't remember what it's called. It is a dust, though. It's like it's Stardust. The spice must flow. Uh, hold on. The Let me look it up. Retreats from the roots. This vault is cleansed. Wow, that dungeon took forever, but that's because we spent like what eighty minutes talking about nothing. What of the blessed water? While Maokai's roots appear to be healed, the blessed water here has. No, but we need the water to save Brahm's village. Do not fear, Bram. We will find a cure for your people. I heard the blood of Akaboros or whatever can be used to cure people. Nagakaboros. We should return to Maokai. 
Hopefully this will yeah, be that to guy. Way forward. Wait, I'm gonna explore! Game! I have treasures to find. People to kill. Anyway, I think they should have done, like, the Baldur's Gate style of things, where they have, like, a story event thing where it's like, Hey, this is an important area. When you do this segment, uh, make sure you've given your dust to all the people who you want to give it to. You know, first, and then, like, I, and, and then it, ref then it, like, consumes the dust, right? But, I understand that that's not really feasible because the game is meant to have, kind of, uh, the, the game is meant to have open world progression so you can go in a bunch of different places. <laughs> And, uh, there are NPCs that- there'd be NPCs that you hadn't met yet, and then they would inevitably die because you wouldn't have found them to give them the dust, because you're supposed to find them later. You know? Yeah, yeah. But, uh... I, I, I'm not quite sure how- how you'd account for those NPCs, but I just- I feel like there should be, like, a- a more anxiety-friendly mode that still makes- that still keeps the spirit of the game, you know? I hate time limits in games. Yeah? The only game with a time limit that I've really ever been cool about was Outer Wilds. Even that got annoying after a while! Come on. That's fair. Around, like, your 40th time on, uh... On The Stranger, you, you kinda... You kinda get annoyed. Yeah, The Stranger really needed to have no time limit. Back to the stranger, solve these three puzzles. The stranger was just too big for the time limit. Yeah. Like, unfortunately, that was its big flaw. Stop summoning the little fucking Gobbo dudes! Okay, well... Just die! Have you ever heard of death? Yasuo, do the three billion damage move! Yasuo, stop doing so much damage! Oh, why is Yasuo so strong? He feels broken! Game can remove content. Yeah, that's also true. I don't know. I'm always a little wary on time limits because it's like... Subconsciously, the game is telling me I need to hurry up. Yeah. Instead of, like, just dicking around in the galaxy. Let's just heal everyone's health. Uh, how much damage did she just do? How much did she just heal? What is this debuff that's like... I'm not taking any damage except for this debuff that shows up that just, like, keeps doing a billion damage. Yeah, I... These things are just like that. I hate them. Tell them I hate them. Oh, I hate them too. What? What the fu- What just happened? 
I ended my turn and then it did six billion damage to me. Uh, I believe when one of them di when a champion dies, the amount of stacks that have the, the, the status effects get distributed among the other champs. Oh, that's great. I think I'm not I'm not quite certain, but I believe that might be how it works. Wait, when did I save last? Oh, it has also one per turn, yeah. <laughs> kind of wild that Braum died first. No, he died second. Oh, thank God it saved me right before that. Now, he died- he literally was one of the last people to die, but... <laughs> yeah, that's- I'm on, I'm on fandom wiki right now. It's got, like, the- the- you know, what wiki- A-plus wikis are wikis where all the admins have completed their A-plus courses, and it, like, it denotes them as, like, special- Yeah. Special- sp Special super mod, whatever. And it's like, oh, here are all the wikis that have A-plus, because, like, Unsighted is one of them, right? And some yeah. of them are pretty- some of them are things that you'd expect for, like, uh, pretty tight-knit communities, right? Well, Wilder Myth is on here, Fae Tactics is on here, Escape from Tarkov, uh, Borderlands, Cassette Beasts. Uh, for some reason, the French Cassette Beasts and the French Borderlands only. The Block List? What are you talking and about, then, Blith? One of the- Oh! No, I- no, no, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have that on right now. But, uh, one of the things on here, the has been Hotel Wiki apparently has that, which I find hard to believe. Um, and then one of them is, uh, it says Korean Wiki, and I was like, hmm? Yeah, it means, it's a wiki page about Korean the language. That makes sense. How the fuck do you become an admin of that? What is this fucking debuff? Become an admin of the wiki for Korean the language. Like, he gets this fucking debuff off and then it's like, well now you just do six million damage. I think, uh... Oh my god, I'm pretty my, sure it just... Do, oh my lord. When I was doing my playthrough, I was genuinely upset about this, this, these enemies because I was concerned that I would, uh, be basically stuck here. I... I don't even know... Like, what this debuff is. Oh, I'm dead. I just killed Being myself. Being knocked out and revived has to suck. I saw a post that was talking about how health potions in fantasy are probably existentially terrifying because, like, they'd probably make you age slower than people who weren't adventurers that needed health potions. I just underleveled for this part. You, you might be. Uh, you can maybe try enchanting your. Maybe, maybe rest before you go in because Braum is at half health. True. You also have battle food that you can eat before to buff yourself for a few fights when you rest. You also have runes you can apply. Nah, you gotta get back into the fight. Drink that potion, get the fuck out there. I don't know, it feels like that debuff just does like 6 million damage and I have no idea how to counter it. Okay, respawn these idiots. I'm not uh, why don't you take a look at the actual debuff itself? Cause they're- they're- at... You do have those potions that cleanse debuffs. Oh yeah. But I think it'll apply one every turn. I love fighting against an enemy who has a weird ability I don't understand. Yeah, no, Glyph, I, I understand the idea that being knocked out and then resurrected at full health is probably ugh, 
Like, you'll be fine. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. At some point, once you're already like considered to be dead, you, you, you'd you'd want to like take a minute just to like emotionally collect yourself. You'll be fine. I, I don't know, I feel like the act of dying and then getting brought back through nebulous means is probably trauma-inducing. And then you just throw them back in there and you're like, Alright buddy, you go the- you, you try harder this time. It's only trauma-inducing if you don't eventually win in the end. If if somebody if somebody dies and gets brought back to life in pretty much any medium, like it better it better change how their mind works as a character. You know? Yeah. They better have something up with them. Like I'm not saying that your characters have to have to suffer to be Like I'm not saying your characters have to suffer, right? But Logically, there's no penalty for them dying if they are just able to be brought back exactly as they were. Tempest builds. Cool. I'm gonna have to use my, my potions. It's literally just bleed. <laughs> I don't know how he gets bleed off on everyone, though. I don't- I don't know. He's not even attacking everyone and he's getting it off. They're just annoying. So I'm uh I'm uh looking at the the yokai watch American yokai thing. Yeah. I forgot there was an American yokai whose name is literally Salty Bacon. Salty? No, it's it's spelled like the normal words salty and bacon. That makes sense. It, it it is it is a piece of bacon. It is uh it has it has pants and shoes. It has it, it, it has angy eyes. I still lost. What is that his, bleed? His... It's oh, I do not get it. Uh maybe Allowi Allow Allow has like Allowi has cleanse party stuff, right? I don't know where the game just spawned me, because I spawned me on top of an enemy. So, the, the American Yokai Salty Bacon's power is... Uh... He can make people easily angered and stressed in situations that would be considered tedious and annoying. Additionally, having the power to make base bacon crispier and tastier as he gets more upset. That's my power. Your power is you make bacon crispier? Yes! I just burn it. Hey, hold on. Does it say I got the chest? No. Fuck. God, I don't want to fight all these Nimrods. Also, I saved down here. Why did it spawn me all the way back there? Oh, God, the other enemies are still here again. Wait, what's the chain? Spreading darkness. Oh, the chain means that the other- like, the chain when you- like, when an- over an enemy's head? No, I- I didn't- I don't know what enemy was close to it where it got a chain, but I have two chains. Oh my god. What fucking deep? how do I get rid of this debuff? 
Each turn apply deals 41 magic damage per stack to all champions and applies a stack on each champion. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, it's on the I mean it's on the flying thing. Well, uh another scar. Can you look at its actual the flying thing's own stats like in the inspect mode? Yeah, spreading darkness is just a thing it does. Alright, but... Uh, spreading darkness deals very light damage per stack to all champs and applies a stack on each champ per turn. So does the- so the stacks multiply then, right? Yeah, it seems and, like they do. And it gets lifesteal based on... Alright, um... Uh, I cleansed it. Game? Oh, he is cleansed, okay. Yeah, I think- I think abusing cleanse is what they want you to do. Well, that's annoying. It Probably should have figured that, though. So let's talk about- let's talk about- let's talk about Yokai Watch. Alright. So, the America- so it, America in the Yokai Watch world, it's called- it's just called USA in Japan. Uh, it, it's- it's- it's called BBQ in Amer in English. That makes sense. Uh... Hold on. Imagine- man, I can't believe I live in BBQ. Yeah, so, it's called BBQ. A, a ficti- it's labeled as a fictitious country present in the Yokai Watch series. Uh, fictitious country. It is first mentioned in Yokai Watch Blasters as the trip for winning the Blasters contest. And then is the main setting of Yokai Watch 3 because uh, Nate's family moves there after his, his father gets a job there. Um, Cliff is the president of barbecue. Yeah, I can believe that. The uh, the American yokai, as they called, they are called, are uh, from there. Um, the <laughs> canonically, it was founded by a historical figure named Columbus, who became the 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 the, the yokai Columba cat. Uh, really now? Who, who um? I'm just gonna send you a picture of him. Columbus. I'm gonna- I'm gonna send you a picture. This is Columba Cat. Oh my god! <laughs> he needs to be killed. Oh yeah, I know, he's cursed. I'm taking him down. He's the final boss. He's not, but... Yeah. Is the way that you fight him... The way that you fight him is you have to go to the elementary school. There's a there's a book about him on the shelf in the top right of the room in like the library in the middle of the bookshelf. You can you re you have to read one chapter of the book per day in a per real life day on your according to your system clock. And after the fifth day, it's it starts appearing at a it starts appearing at a static- as a static encounter in, uh, Pecan Port. That's annoying. <laughs> yes. Why does it make you wait five real-life days, and they have to be done in a row? That is ultimate- that is so bad. <laughs> uh, he is not- I, I believe he is not- Obtainable in the uh, yeah oh yeah it, the, he's he has a base form that's called Kitty Lumbus anyway, um in the anime. He must be purged. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um. So. Uh, I just it's just weird. It's just weird. It's just weird. 
I believe it. In in the Jap in Japanese, he's just called Columbus, but it's like it's weird. You should be All right. dead. Purge from this mortal coil. All right, here's some more stuff about about uh, BBQ. Um, the language is a dialect based in the Deep South. Uh, <laughs> language in quotes is a dialect based on the the Deep South, uh, uh, which is mostly like accent accent stereotypes. In uh, in the uh, in all of the other like localizations, including Japanese, the language that they speak is just English. It's just English. Yeah. So if you're playing the Japanese version, the people the there will just speak English. In the in the hope, English version, they speak. Uh, heavily bastardized, <laughs> heavily bastardized <laughs> dialect of <laughs> of English. They speak Cajun. <laughs> well, it's like yeah, but this is like it, but it's like heavy on stereotypes speak. <laughs> Ah! Your leaves are already greener. A welcome sight. It's not this. I, I don't think it's like <laughs> particularly tasteful. Oh, this ordeal has taken. Probably not. The current the currency strength. is called BBQ bucks, but in all other versions outside of America, they're just called they're just dollars. They're just the dollars. In the uh time. in Eng in the English version, they are time? a symbol of the symbol is a B it. with like a, a slash going. through it. Strike. It has a national anthem. Uh, and I'm looking at it right now, it's not great. <laughs> or it might be the best thing you've ever read. Please, please swirl, sing the barbecue national anthem. Yes, the boo hey. You don't, you don't have to, that was a joke. I, I can read it out. I don't know if it's considered copyright because it's from a game. Let's, let's, hedge, let's not hedge our bets. To make contact with your ancestors. Why? The, the Boru what? are evil. <laughs> I thought those but rumors, myths. If you doubt me. Search the coast. Along yeah, it it the is just it isles. is just a a very. There is a temple below the sea. I'll describe it as a. Taught some from the uh, we'll say it's a silly uh, parody of like. Mother serpent. Of the American. If such <laughs> word has not been passed down in Puru legend, how can um, I will find it. Ripper. It's just I it's weird. In the deep. I've been down below, I've seen this temple. Oh crap, we're going to a water temple! Then you know of this place. No, but like, go ask your god! Get me close. The undertow will call to me. The what? Take this seed. Grant it the mother serpent's blessing. With it full Not of life, acknowledge each other despite I having can zero restore real relation. The and crush the mist that stands in your way. I have always seen Ruterra's gods as less of gods and more just like immensely powerful creatures. Yeah, that I I think that's just how they like they aren't really. That's pretty much how they work. Except like, for I, I mean, Aurelian Soul is the closest there is to an actual god. Yeah, but Aurelian Soul still got chained to a mountain. He did. And Zoe has voice lines implying that he might not be as powerful as he says he is, but Zoe's a fucking nine-year-old, so fuck off. Yeah. It will be done. I, so, I do me... like the idea that they aren't actually gods. They're just, like, so immensely, overwhelmingly powerful. Until we yeah. Meet again. I- I actually- I like the idea of gods that aren't, like, specifically gods, but are just- just strong entities that have, like, power because of it, you know? Yeah. And also, I think, reinforces, like, the idea that, like, no one really knows what they're doing. We're all kind of- we're all people. We're all people. We're up, people. No one knows what the hell is going on. 
So let me talk about the American yokai, or American yokai, as they are called. Because they, they're interesting. American. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there, there's, they have their own variant of, um, Komasan and Komajiro. They do? Yes. What about the dog there's a, face So there's guy? a, there's a yokai called Lyingwist. It's, it's thing is, it, it's, it's thing is that it, uh, when it, like, possesses somebody or whatever, it, it makes them, it makes them gain fluency in languages. Ah, oh, that sounds very useful. I want to be friends with that one. Which does sound really cool. In the, uh, in, uh, that, that's how it is in, uh, that, that's, well, it makes them more, like, Here, here, here. In the Japanese version, it makes them learn. It makes them learn the the, the like like. It makes them fluent in different languages, right? In yeah. the English version, it teaches them slang. That is significantly worse. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine He's, you get I, I also want to describe you to you understand slang. I want to describe to you what it looks like. It's got um it is a bipedal vaguely lion looking thing wearing a red and white striped shirt and blue jeans, no shoes. No um, shoes. No shoes. Uh it has a weirdly pointy nose but not really a snout. It's it, it's odd. And it has like a blonde afro. <laughs> That's supposed to be representative of his mane. Interesting. Oh, and it, it walks around holding a dictionary. Fuck yeah. Also, the enemy's finally leveled up. Hell yeah. So let's go see if I can take on that mini boss. Hell yeah. All right, so there's a. Oh, those, those sound fun. There is a yokai. One of the American yokai is called Lazy Sunday. After the Lonely Island song. Uh. I think after the phrase. Yeah, that It makes is sense. literally a cup of ice cream. Yeah, that makes sense. Its ability is it makes people lazy on Sundays and only Sundays, regardless man, I, of what they promised. I, I would have never guessed that one. Out of left field. Uh. There's a there's a yokai called Afronaut. I see. Uh, it is... Well, well, I... It's kind of cute looking, actually. <laughs> Hold on. Here, here's Afronaut. Alright. I'm, I'm terrified to look at this. It's pretty... I, I think it's kind of cute. Yeah, that's about what I was expecting. Yeah, um... He's just a little dude. He's just a little dude. <laughs> just a little dude. He's just a little guy. The little guy. I'm gonna keep trying to keep his... The, I'm gonna try and keep these DMs clean because it's just gonna be a lot... Is he cool enough to justify the name? Uh, he looks like he would be a side character for like a one-off episode in like Dora the Explorer. He looks like a filler character in a One Piece arc. True. <laughs> Like when Luffy goes to the moon. Wait, there is a character on the moon in One Piece. I forgot about that. Is 
Fucking so there's there's a character there's a char there's a one of the one of the American yokai is um called Tomorrow Gal. I see. Uh, and what she does is she cheers you on and then makes you succeed at what you were trying to do, but only the next day and only if you failed at it on your first attempt. It's a very specific power. Yes. Some of these feel yes, like stand restrictions. These are very weird, yeah. Did you know that one of the most recent stands introduced into JoJo's just gives you cancer? I see! That's is it, not is a it complete like, lie. Is it, is it like fast acting or does it like take a while? It like... Oh, I'm trying to remember exactly what it does. It like infects you like a virus and then starts to spread. Like between people or just across the body? I don't know. I haven't read the chapter yet. Okay. I had the ability. I I, I read up what the ability was because some I saw someone make a joke that like, oh, the new stand gives you cancer, and I'm like, you know, I believe you, but I also don't know what that means. I see. Because JoJo is just cool like that. Okay, so um, here here's another one for Yokai Watch. There's a there's a Yokai called Got It Made. Got it made. I like it, that. It's a maid. What? Uh, what it? It's not a little it, robot guy that makes stuff. She looks a lot like a. She looks a lot like Whisper. Like Wait, why does America Whisper. get the maid? I, I, she looks like she looks like the the human whisper the humany humany kind of ghosty whisper design you see in in Yokai Watch Four. I see. And. What she does is she basically, like, pledges herself to servitude to someone within a time limit and gets pro and just, like, cannot be stopped from her task when it once it is started until the time limit is up. And if she is unable to do the task, she gets extremely pissed off. I see. So it, it's kind of like a, a Mr. Me Seeks type situation. Except in Yokai Watch. And apparently her requirements for the task are like very specific. If she cannot do it exactly, she'll just like lose it. Which is fun. Imagine being bound to whoever told you what to do. It's like a fucking nightmare. You mean like a slave? I meant magically. Well, she's happy to do things. Until it takes a while. There's a... Uh... Wait, okay. that, that caused my beast area to go to half? Okay. Sounds like you. OCD in a nutshell. Uh, there's a yokai called Indexter. Dexter's lap? Indexter is a... Well, he, you know, like, the nerd emoji with, like, the, the buck teeth and the glasses? Yeah. He looks like that, except he's got, like, a bow tie and suspenders and, like, a book and, like, a, you know, little nerd haircut, and he, like, comes out of computers. <laughs> Hey, there's a stand that comes out of computers. Uh, his- his- his thing is that he possesses people and turns them into internet trolls. Fuck yeah! Oh, yes. Best yokai. 4chan was born. You know, it'd be really cool if I knew what any of my party's abilities do, but, um... Basic attacks and let Brom take everything has been working out way too strong. Like, uh, honestly, this combo might be too broken. I see. 
when did Braun get health back? Who cares? I'm actually serious. He, he was at much lower health earlier. What happened? I, I, I don't know. What, you're not paying attention? I... Neither am I, I but like, apparently I'm not either. This is my stream. Okay, so... Um, let's talk about, uh... Okay, you got more? There's... Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of these. Um... Let's talk about Jasper. Jasper? Jasper is... A, a variant of Whisper wearing a Jester hat and carrying a purple scythe. I like that. Oh, that's good. Um, uh, notably, he is one of the, the, y the yokai in that game that was part of a promotional thing and required you to scan a QR code to get them to appear in-game, and you can only battle them once per day. I see. Also, that boss was comically easy. All the bosses are gonna be comically easy at this point. Hate to tell you. I got a cannon blueprint? What? <gasps> Does it do uh, oh, I that's see... that's part of that's part of uh that's part of the quest for Misfortune's legendary weapon. Oh my god, minus attack but plus a health, physical more defense. That's all that matters. The stamina gives a lot of health, yeah. Yeah, building him pure defense is a little broken. Okay, let's talk um Next, uh, next notable one is, um, Q-Bot. Uh, or as it's called in Japanese, Mecha QB. Mecha QB! I like that. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh... Exactly what it says with a tin. It's QB. But... Mecha for some reason. Robots are cool, Swirl! Yeah, yeah, it's, it's cool, it's cool. Uh, you also have to, uh, do a QR code. Oh, that's lame. And it's a rare thing once you do that. It, like, it unlocks a dungeon in, in, like, a side thing, and you have to do the dungeon in there, and it's a rare chance. There's a big crab. There is a, um... Uh, there's a, there's a, there's a yokai called... Oh, God. OM Gator? OMG Gator? I don't know how oh it's supposed God. to be. It's not supposed to be read out loud in the kind of name, you know? It's just one of the enemy yordles, Glyph. I don't know why. Uh, there's a bunch of, like, enemy yordles in this game. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I don't know. They're just there. Um, so, it is... It is a... a, a, a cartoon alligator that is like um based on just a few stereotypes of Australians why is it in America I don't know in the dub it has an Australian accent as it should he's got like a safari hat and like a vest they should give one a Brooklyn accent it's got and so, it, it's thing is, it's thing is that it makes people surprised by mundane things. That's great, I like that. I, I just... These are odd. They're the best. Uh, there's one called... <laughs> There is a yokai called Put a Sock in It. Uh, yeah. Uh, it is a a snake resembling sock puppet thing, but it also has legs. Like it has two legs, and then its tail continues behind it, like above the ground. Like I want you to just imagine a normal snake on the ground, and then just like. And then just like normal, normal oh, legs, just below it, 
that would like go through the floor if it were there. I see. Uh. <laughs> Why does he have a 2D picture, but everyone else had a 3D picture? I don't know. It's. I don't know. This fucking game. <laughs> Mike has that too. Why? And Maokai. Like they were gonna do two D art for everyone, but then gave up. So, uh, so its power is um. Its power is. It makes people like. Add r stupid interjections to a conversation that make the conversation unpleasant. I see. So... <laughs> yeah. Interesting ability. Yep. Alright, where the hell is the blacksmith in Bilgewater? Oh yeah, I want to let you know, by the way, there's a boss in Yokai Watch 3 called Yokaiju. Yeah. It is what it sounds like. Uh, awesome? Yeah. Not Wait. that visually impressive, though. Hold on. More attack? No, fuck. Hey, you can lose some health if uh, I get Okay. Oh, I, I've got one for you. So you know, um, you know how Robanyan in the show makes a bunch of ref like Terminator references. Yes. So there is a there's an American yokai called Terminator. Let's go. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me. Here, here, here. It, it I, is. I've heard enough. The one <laughs> true god. It it has a in the English version. It has a slight German accent. In the German version, it talks in the Austrian German dialect. That tracks. Uh, it also has like glow. It just also, I'm gonna send the picture to Rouse, but I'm gonna describe it for people who want to know. It has a motorcycle. And it's got glowy red eyes, glasses, and a... Let's go! <laughs> leather jacket. Let's go! <laughs> For your viewing. <laughs> wow, these are all worse. Yeah, I don't want less attack power, game. What game do you think I'm playing? <laughs> let me let me read out how how you get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let me read out how you get it. Prior to the 2.2 update, the player had uh, was required to have the studio pass, which could be attained from the post office in the game while staying in the download spot located in Universal Studios Japan in real life in order to in which case, it would just be given to you. I see. As of the 2.2 update, is no longer required. Uh, in the Hip and Hopping Alley, lo located in the North Beach area, there is a cat. There is a normal gray cat yokai named Grainyan, who wants Excuse to be me, like the what? The Hip and Hop. In the Hip and Hopping Alley, yes. The Hip and Hop. In the North Beach al al area, beach spelled with two E's and no A. Thank you, Fortune, because I don't know why I bought that, but it looked important. I love that, yeah. I <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorite lines. This belongs to me now. Yes, that harpoon you use. You know that harpoon that Pike uses? I was gonna buy a skin, but Ari had a better weapon, so I bought that instead. <laughs> I figured, so figured that'd be more uh, useful. So, the so the it's a so the Jabanyan looking thing is a cat called Grainyan. 
And what you do is you get you call in <laughs> you call in R Robanyan F, which is not quite Robanyan, but also has their own complicated stuff for getting them. But b basically, you have to do stuff with like you you have to do. You have to do stupid stuff to get them. A lot of it is RNG, and what isn't RNG is QR code stuff. That's also so that's already, that's, way that's more already, annoying than just catching that, a damn Pokemon. That's that's already a terrible wall, right? It's also worth mentioning that Rouse that in Yokai Watch, um, the befriending is there is no way to guarantee it, and it's more or less random chance. Wow. Um, I play SMT, so no. Yeah, so, um, anyway, so you, you call in Robanyan F to, to help Grainyan, and it, it basically asks you, to, like, to like, collect data from him, for, from around places, okay. and then they'll tell it, they, they, then you have to come back a day later, and, um, and... Grainyon has been turned into <laughs> Terminator. Oh my, yes, the Terminator. Uh, it's Terminator, I think. Yeah, Terminator. Uh, which is so silly. So. Can you buy your gun? After. After you've done the quest, you can fight, uh,. You can fight. You can fight a uh, Terminator uh, once a day. Once a day, you can fight the Terminator. Uh, yes, and still, it's it's chance based to to get it. Also, the blueprint didn't give me an ultimate weapon. It just gave me access to Misfortune's third ultimate skit, uh, ultimate ability. Oh, I'm thinking of something else then. You do need the gunpowder for her ultimate thing, I think. Rum misses the call. Rum, why? You have been all the way down to the bottom of the sea, big man. Well, once. Uh, there. No. No, I have not. <laughs> then you don't know real cold. What are you talking about? Oh, I'll be, I'll be back in a minute. The frail yard has true ice. The door is locked. I can't get in there. I still have so much money. Those water sucks. Can we go to a different city, like Zon? Yeah, I cleansed the Grey Harbor, sure. Shit, where are you telling me to go? Travel to Fleet Street, okay. Should have been paying more attention. I can't wait to get ambushed by like eight guys, and it turns out he was secretly evil or something. Ooh. I love I love side content. It's 
turn off your brain, have some fun. That's why I like JRPGs so much, is like, I can always just go do something else. And that's always fun. But where's the cargo? Probably in that warehouse. Oh, but I did the warehouse quest already. Shit, wrong place. It's up top, I think, yeah. Yeah, run away from me, enemies. I could not care less. Something about the shore, so maybe down here? Normally, it'd be marked on my map. Warehouse near the market. But I was just in the warehouse. I didn't see it. What the hell's up here? Oh, I already took what's up here. Can't even talk to you again. Uh, it's not good shape. Cars recovered from the salvage runners is being stored in a warehouse near the market in Bilgewater. Find the cargo and refuse. So it should be up there, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Hmm. What are those other quests I had? Okay. I don't see anything different than when I was here last. Awesome, I don't know. Don't worry, I'll make this Yeah, quick. we're gonna make this very quick.
It's the only warehouse, though. Like, where else could it be? Fortune, I think you should take a break from this place sometime. Yeah, leave the fucking city. Take a break? From Bilgewater? I wouldn't dream of it. This place sucks. Head to Ionia. See the countrysides. Embrace the quiet. Touch grass. Enjoy quiet countryside? Ugh, I'm sorry. That sounds like a nightmare. What? Fortune, how do you know unless you can try? You never know, you might like the country. Raiding party! Holy shit. Hi, thanks for the raid, Daisy. Welcome. Oh my god, I gotta sit up in my chair. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream? We're just doing random side quests in a game that is League. Hi, Glyph. Game that is theoretically league based. Oh, you don't have better equipment. Glyph, I don't believe you unless I have further proof. Minus assassin. What does that mean? Ooh, tomes. I mean, that's all right. I see. I mean... Is this where I need to go? Is there someone there? Anyway. Welcome to Bruntera. Welcome to Bilgewater. Welcome to- I don't- Is it in that- Yeah, I give up on this quest, I swear. Oh, don't tell me it's one of those things where- Why can't I talk to the stairs? What am I supposed to be doing for this quest? Hi, I'm back. Ah! It scared me more than the raid. <laughs> what? How long ago was the raid? Like 20 seconds ago. Oh, hell yeah. I'm getting used to- I'm getting used to my raid sound. I like it. However, you scared the crap out of me because I forgot you left. <laughs> well, I don't know what to do for this quest, so... <sighs> Fuck. What's the quest? Neutralize the cargo? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Cool. Then we're just gonna go do something else. I can pull up the- I can pull up the thing. Hold on. This is what happens. That's why I need a second brain. Ionia bound? Yeah, that's the quest. Okay, uh... Exit Baron to rest the slums market area and take the elevator up to the upper section of the area. Just by the top of the elevator, you see a door into the left. It is locked, uh... Interacting with it with Miriam's warehouse key will open it. That's where I need to go?! Ah, oi. So, exiting Baron's Rest to the slums market area, elevator up to the upper section. There needs to be a better dash. Breathe in deep, crew. Oh yeah. Smell that? Smells like death. You know, they could have given it, they could have given it to, to Ari, you know, the, the character who has dashes. Tough crowd. But they didn't. Misfortune, your city sucks. Nobody anyway, in their gotta... goddamn mind is gonna want to live in Bilgewater. I'm sorry, Misfortune. 
I would rather live anywhere else that isn't Zon. Anyway, I'm back. I have enchiladas. Now, where the hell was that door? I, mean, I pass by it, like, every fucking time. I, I cast AoE hunger on this entire Twitch chat. Oh, there it is. Wow, it told me to go to the... Oh, that's why it told me to go to the fleet market. Because it was lying to me again. Swirl, this game lies to me a lot. Yes. I don't like it. Oh good, a better version of that gun I just bought. Ah, oh, I love this game. It... It's jank. What do you mean nothing happens? Oh, I have to find the right one. I know how to play games, I swear. That's a lie. What am I talking about? Oh, by the way, some stuff will happen after you do it. Like a fight? Yeah, but it's easy. Well, 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 we meet again. I'll still kill all you guys. I beat... Mouk! I... No one important. Like, okay, whatever. I don't have any cred. Wait, I have misfortune in my party! The is the oh, you guys are... Uh-oh. Okay, you know, I did not realize they were this level. We got this. Yeah, they're not doing a lot of damage, so we got this. Oh, by the way, the reward you get for this quest is uh, an item for Yasuo's legendary weapon. Good, Sorry, he I needs kinda more damage. That. I kinda mumbled that. Yeah, Yasuo's legendary weapon. Yeah, he needs more damage. Yeah. Okay, if they don't attack Brom, they are doing a lot of damage. But that should be fine, because I'm the best. They are doing a not a zero amount of damage. Hit like a hunter. This might be a tad tricky. Apparently my strategy is still working. For what? Alright, yo, browse. Yeah. Amazing tip based on what has happened to these enchiladas. If you're making rice to go with these en with enchiladas like like this, okay. Absolutely put any leftover enchilada sauce you have into the rice pot. Okay. Uh, pro I have a problem. Rice okay. sucks. Well, there went Ari. I disagree. But yeah, a lot of people do. Tinge apparently has never had rice before. Good. He's not missing out. I just want to know how that's possible. Uh, you eat good food. But rice is like one of the cheapest foods available. Yeah, because it sucks. Like if you're functioning on like bare minimum income, right? You should have had access to rice. Everybody theoretically should have access to rice as long as they are on a continent that has it. Well, you know? Luckily, I'm not on a continent that has it. Are you in the sky? Yes! I'm on the moon. Free of rice. I see. I don't think... Access leads to putting it in, in your body? That's- that's how things work! Yes, having access to something means you are capable of ingesting it. 
Yeah, but like, there's so many better foods. What's what's your problem with rice? Uh, taste, texture, flavor. Rice is a canvas for which to paint a pun. It is. You do not. When you paint, when you paint, you do not eat the canvas. A canvas. Analogy got a little mixed. I might be a little dehydrated. Yeah, drink some water, Swirl. I did drink water, just not enough. <laughs> no, I don't eat the paint. Yes, yeah, Swirl. Uh, unlike the rest of you, we didn't drink lead paint. <laughs> I did eat those delicious lead paint chips, though. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I get on the water train. I have been- Glyph, I need you to understand. My sense of thirst is messed up for reasons. Alright, I got a whisker for a I'm Wedless trying. Dragon. Fucking whatever the face is in his stupid wife and a hammer. I'm assuming all of these items are for the- I got also a bunch of other garbage. I don't know what half this crap is. I like the way I talk about my items. Like, I just don't really care about them. It's true. Fuck my inventory. And fuck water. It's objectively the worst thing ever. Humans don't need it to survive. Look at me. I love the idea of, like, a, an adventurer in D&D who actively despises the items in his inventory. They talk to him. Don't worry about it. It's just one little- it's just one little talking sword. How bad could it be? <laughs> yeah, that only he hears. Yeah. I wish for a plus three sword. Well... I'm gonna give it to you, but you're not gonna be happy about it. Make a wisdom save. Do you like sanity mechanics? I want to watch- I want to re-watch Vox Machina, both the show and the live game. Well, the live game might take you a while. I've been working my way through it. Ah, uh, that means you can watch from the start, you can watch everyone's favorite character, Tiberius. I- I've already gotten way past his segment. Tiberius. You better not be a Tiberius enjoyer. You- T everyone should watch Tiberius because you can learn a lot more from how he plays than anybody else in that game. He is a very good example of how to be the problem player in a D&D &D group. Yeah. I, I, I respect how they handled it. I mean, no hatred towards him as a person. Like his, uh, you know, his player. He just kind of but... sucks as a he, things kind of, things kind of escalate. Like, you don't railroad the campaign. You don't, you don't you say things could, about. Though. You don't say things about the the partners of people who uh, who you're playing with. You don't hit on someone mid mission. Yeah, you don't meta game. Where the hell's the veil jumper? I want to see if I oh, can take- Oh, the Veil Jumper is the- Okay, the Veil Jumper doesn't show up on the map. Uh, let me explain it. Oh, wow. Oops, I accidentally didn't complete that quest. Hmm? I was like, oops, it didn't show up on the map. Well, I guess I'm never completing that because these maps are fucking garbage. Uh, the Veil Jumper is, like, the one. I, I have an entire thing in my notes specifically for the Veil Jumper. Uh, so assuming you have the Ethereal Lens item from the Through the Lens side quest in Baron's Rest, Did you got that. that. Yeah, you need to find four treasure chests. You need to find them in order. They won't appear until you found the one before it. Okay, well, we're gonna go do a different side quest for a bit. Uh, okay, well, one of them should be in Grey Harbor in the Clario, in the Clario State in the lobby. Got it, we can do that later when I'm actually leveled properly. Okay. Alright, chat, everyone say hi to Gwen, because there she is. 
Thank you, Swirl, for pointing that out. Now we gotta kill her before she wakes up! But you liked Gwen. I do, but... Wait, where's that stupid Yordle? Where's Vex? Hey, actually, she's not in this. Uh, Thank question. God! Question, Rouse, have you found Necrit yet? Who? Okay. What did I just Good. do? What orb did I put in there? One of Ari's many orbs, I don't know. I'm missing an item. I had another one of these, didn't I? What did I do? What did I put in there? Whatever, I don't care. Who are you? Do you know Yorick? Who should I unlock potential? Yasuo. Alright, I'm back. The Vault of the Giants. doing oh if I just do all of these then maybe I can do I love the you don't know me neither do you <laughs> alright just like damn man <laughs> find the lost idol of Nakaboros wait why was Ari's just kill 25 idiots Look, Ari got off kind of easy. Oh, you know that area where the with the, with the cannon where you have to like aim it. Yeah, that's where the idol is, I believe. Did I do that already? Then? I don't know if you grabbed it. It's like on the, it's on the spot. You have to. It's like on the tip of some on like a ship or a cliff or something. Oh, I could have sworn I did that, but um, we can go back. We're going to, but... Nautilus, is that you? Wow, they are fucking weak if that's the enemy I'm supposed to be fighting. I am happy to tell you, Rouse, uh, according to the card game, Nautilus is giant. Fuck yeah, like 100 feet tall. Oh yeah, no, hold on. Well, you can keep casting weakness. He's ten feet. Professional. He's, he, he's more than ten feet. Professional basketball player, not a. No, no. Here's a picture. Here's a picture. So something about, uh, something about Nagakaboro's magic really, uh, he is a large lad. Have you seen the new Dawn cinematic? I need you to understand, Glyph. Nautilus has since been retconned in the card game. He is now gigantic. Yeah. I'm gonna believe Swirl on this one because she's probably played the card game. More I was a beta tester. Any human has ever seen. Oh, I have three charges now. No, I am not in the credits. I'm not like I wasn't like a not that kind of beta tester. There are yeah. a few games that I am in the credits for as a beta tester. Not bad. They couldn't put her name because of vampire, uh, vampire curse. If you what? know her true name, then you have power. Is this Aragon? 
Uh, that's just how the Fey works, so okay. I mean, that is also Aragon, though. The movie about the dragons? Yeah, the book! The book about the dragons? Yeah. Alright, we're in here. Fun fact, the, uh, the Aragon, the Aragon audiobook that's available on Spotify is like 11 hours long. Why? There's not even 11 hours of crap in there. No, I did not mean to press bugs and feedback. Riot, why are you still taking fucking things about this game? Oh, I would love to fill this out. I'm not- it's gonna take five- no. Yeah, I know, Glyph. I know. But my first thought was Aragon, because that is... where I remember seeing it. Is that one of your other old hyperfixations? Hyper no, actually. Aragon? Nope. Aragorn, son of Arathorn? Whatever the no. fuck it is. The true king of Gondor? The way that it works in Aragon is that the, the the way that their magic system works is that the the magic word that like makes fire works because it is tied to fire itself. Like it's basically arbitrary spell ex <laughs> arbitrary code execution, but it's arbitrary spell execution. Hooray! Hope everyone had a fun time on stream. I did. It's like an it's like an Animal Crossing where you can put a, a code in, in the original Animal Crossing when you can put a, a code in uh, you can put a special set of characters as your name or your town name and then when you have when you give a code to Tom Nook and he reads it out it executes a it executes uh, a command yeah, those, in the game. Yeah, those cheat codes it... that you could find. Yeah. Well, not oh, well. the I don't mean the the like insert this code to get like two hundred bells. I mean like the ones the where like disable back. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, the one that's like disable background audio, because <laughs> it makes speed runs marginally faster. Yeah. Yes, so... that, that that's how I I know. Yeah, that is how it works, Cliff. I, I would love this conversation to continue, but I am getting very tired. Yeah, I I also cannot be here for the rest of the night. So, I will be back tomorrow because Thousand Year Door comes out. And that's what we're doing tomorrow. We're playing the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door uh, remake. And... Oh, I have some I have some news about it. I don't know if you've uh, seen ha any pictures of... Uh, no. It, yeah. Well, I saw one scene. But I already knew that's... I've already played the game, so... No, I mean, because the translation is different this time. Yeah. They, they actually, like, kept in some stuff. They did! I, I really hope they kept the scene where the robot AI spies on Princess Peach in the shower. They said that they went closer to the Japanese translation, so I'm gonna guess they did. Yeah, they definitely kept that, because that 100% happens in Thousand Year Door. That yeah. game's weird. I, I, I did not play the original, so... Oh, it's uh, it's quite good. If you're able to come by for the stream, you should you should or watch someone yeah. else play it. I don't know. I am I am I am torn on whether to to watch or to play myself. I mean, I'll leave that I, up to you. But I'll do something one way or the other. I will be playing I'll that be tomorrow because I pre-ordered it. And Wilder Hell Myth yeah. might be on Sunday, but don't count on it. There's a very good chance I will have to be at work like for twelve hours. So. There's also a good chance one of the players may not be available. That too. Me. I was referring to someone else. Ah. Uh, but okay. It'll happen at some point. I would assume that if the event was starting, you would be available for it. Glyph, Glyph who do you want me to raid? Because everyone I even remotely follow is asleep. Become part of the ecosystem. No one's even playing Ruin King. I'm the only one. I don't. Yeah, that, that's the thing. You're you're the you're leading the category. It looks like a Genshin. What do you mean a Genshin clone? I lead I a lot you, of these categories. I think when you call a game a clone, you're diminishing with the the unique things about it. Oh, let me look at this fucking game. That is just straight up Genshin. What the fuck is this game? Do 
What? What? Yeah, this is just Genshin. Hold on, I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't know if I want to support Genshin knockoffs now. I, I'm, I'm looking. What the hell? Oh my god. Huh? Yeah, that's just fucking Genshin. How are people making knockoffs of Genshin, which already feels like a knockoff? I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. It has. There is another game that exists. I don't remember the name of that. Was... Okay. Okay, this does. I, 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 all right. I know what I said earlier, but this does look exactly like Genshin. It is. It's just Genshin. What the fuck is. Can I get a fucking Wikipedia page? More emphasis on combat. More emphasis on combat, like That's just. What is saying. it just like, oh, we heard you didn't like the qu the the talking to people in Genshin? This isn't just like a little bit like Genshin. This is just Genshin Impact. It, it is. I see a gun though, so that it's it's Genshin with guns. I mean, Star Rail has guns. It does. Where? Doesn't it? Uh... I'm like 90% sure Star Rail has guns. If I just type in Star Rail, I'll find a character with a gun, maybe. Oh, yeah, uh, one of the characters is twin machine guns. Or twin... Yeah, okay. That's... That, that makes sense. I'm on, like, a completely different rabbit. That, that's just... That's yeah, I, I'm, I'm also, no. like, googling things on the side. How do you get away with that? Huh. Yeah, I'm a little confused now. They, they really said... They really said, uh, Star Rail graphics Genshin gameplay. The graphics between Star Rail and Genshin are the same. It, the, the style is noticeably darker and more, more like. Twenty second. Did it? Get re it got released to yes more to yeah, yesterday. It got released yesterday. So this is, yeah, this is a day one release. Weathering waves. Got a oh, there's a. It has the category has nineteen point seven thousand viewers. Well, currently, it's the hot new thing. Yeah, Glyph, but you forgot rule number one. We don't play the hot new. Oh thing. no, that's oh sorry, that's this one person I'm looking at. My bad. The top the top person who is streaming it has nineteen point seven thousand viewers. The category itself, um. Has a hundred and thirty-five thousand viewers. Currently, Speaking of bad games. Let's let's find someone playing a bad game. Ah, no yeek. Damn. Anyone play Deadly Premonition at this hour? Man, nobody. I'm looking at these fucking. I- I'm- I am mesmerized by this footage now. It, it's just Genshin! Swirl! Yeah, I know! It is! It's- Well, there are actually people playing Fire Emblem. What the fuck? Maybe we'll find- let's find someone playing Fire Emblem. That's much I'm... closer. No, look, I- I have- I have nothing against- uh, nothing against the the streamer suggested. I I I am confused about this game though. It's more than I thought. Because felt. this does just look like Genshin. Yeah, I'm trying like, to find something unapologetically. I'm trying to find something closer to my brand, except no one's playing god awful video games out of nowhere. Wait, someone's uh... speedrunning Fire Emblem Engage. Wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, but like. That's- that is interesting, but that's also, like, people are still gonna play it. Like, 
What is th ah whatever? I I'm so hold on. Uh Yeah, released May twenty released May twenty third. Yeah, so this was this wasn't even released in yeah, this was overseas. On Dang. PS5, PS4, Android, iOS, Windows. Mac. Made in Unreal Engine 4. Alright, fuck it. This rabbit hole went on too long. I'm just not gonna raid anyone. We're going to I'm going to <laughs> Ugh. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some digging on this on my own time because now I now I need to know. Yeah, I'm we're just we're just we're just ending. Night everybody. Good night.